So we're here. Yesterday. Yes, here we are. And we have, we have, look at all these people we have on tea time, guys. This is crazy. Oh my God. Roy is like a giant head, dude, as well. Look at this. This is crazy, actually. Everyone else has bodies, <laughs> but Roy is just a giant head, actually. No, back up. <laughs> no you, don't, you don't have to back up. You don't have to back up. You can just kind of have that, have that dome. But anyway, you know, we have, a, we have a bunch of, we have a bunch of things to talk about today. You know, we, all these announcements coming thick and fast, guys. It's, it's pretty crazy. It's, it's pretty crazy. A lot, a lot of content, but something, something did, Hold something on. Wait, amusing. What? Yeah. What did you, what did you say? <laughs> Thirty percent off. What, what, I yeah. think. What did you say? Depot. Say a lot of content. Yeah, a lot of content. Yeah, content, man. Yeah. Man, with the... for what? Or which game are we talking about? Content. We are top content created by content creators for the new players is what we're talking about. Nice. Oh, like my save. FAQ video. Okay. <clears throat> I was Very confused. good saves. I thought maybe you were talking about <laughs> the lack of content and less. Being content oh. for guilty. Ah. Well, I, that, that certainly is that it, that certainly is content fodder for for everyone, um, really. I would say um, because it's funny. It's really funny, actually. So we all get to enjoy that and, and, and laugh at that, which is which is pretty good. But you know, the Guild Wars Two is saved thanks to Bless Online, guys. So mm -hmm. cheers, Bless developers. Really appreciate you. <laughs> they even advertised us. It was uh, good. Yes. Was good. Even appeared. Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah. We yeah. even oh, appeared. That was on some their really website. bad uh, SEO, dude. Really, really bad SEO. Probably mm. uh, not the not the best plan, but you know, I think it is the good plan. Okay, they can they can at least appear to have some kind of they can they can be the moral, you know, the moral victors. Right? Like, oh, you know, look, we're, we're backing up the the industry. Okay, we're we're promoting our competitors as well. Very good. That's how confident we are in our product. Okay, that's the direction <laughs> they need to go in it. All right. So what do you think is gonna happen with Bless Online? Are they gonna are they gonna come back from this? No. Oh yeah. There is no coming come back. No. From no. What? <laughs> There's absolutely no way. You know they failed in like Korea, China, Russia. Ooh. Like they, they failed in three regions before they. So actually NA the was well. their last chance. last chance. Yeah, NA and EU oh. was their the last chance, and like they've completely. They, they even put it under early access. It's like how do you early access something that's four years old? Like mm, absolutely yeah. fucking not. Hey dude, so, I I think it was success. I got my refund today. Did you actually buy the game? Wow. Did you buy the premium cat package with all the bullshit that was in it? I don't know. Collector's I edition? I didn't buy the most expensive one, no. Oh, okay, then. That's okay. That's that's the, well, the, most, the most expensive one was about $150, right? $150. Was, uh, yeah. yeah man. The, the, the thing with the $150 one was, like, they gave you, like, a, a special, like, appearance item that was a set of wings. And if you yeah, used the shit. wings, they went on the side of your body horizontal, and they only showed for, like, three seconds, and they went on cooldown for two minutes. Oh, yeah. yeah. So they <laughs> weren't even on your back. And they didn't even, so they didn't work properly, and it wasn't even like a like a, an appearance you could keep forever. It was just temporary, just nothing yeah. stupid. Hey, you know what? Who knows, man? Maybe it was. But it wasn't all bless, right? It wasn't all bless that uh, brought this new influx of players into Guild Wars Two. I think also there was a video that went out that may or may not have quite a lot of views. <laughs> uh, <laughs> quite a lot, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a few. quite a lot, yeah. It well, yeah, part, part of the um, well, part of the the dying and diseased nature of MMOs right now is that people are getting really. F it seems it seems that by pure coincidence, at the same time as everyone is getting really fed up with all the other MMOs, okay, and so all the all the you know all the important people have come to come to shuffle over to this game instead, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, it's and, like yeah, it's I, it's it's a shame because. It's not a shame that new people are coming. It just it's a shame that it took like this to happen for people to say, "Hey, maybe I'll look at Guild Wars 2 and see if it's any good." Uh, it just needed something like that, I guess. It needed one yeah. one person to say, "Hey, you know what? I'm popular. You guys like me, and I have good opinions. Sometimes this is a good game. Go check it out again." Yeah, I mean, because in fairness, that's you know, you can't wait for Arena to do that themselves, can you really? Uh, <laughs> well, are we already awesome. on the marketing that, thing? That, I thought that was later. Like, I mean, <laughs> oh no, we're going right in. I think marketing that, thing, like, let's, let's just go, dude. Let's just get in there. You know? uh, let, do we go? Do we go? Oh, I saw the yeah. tweet that was posted to Reddit about E3, and that actually made me feel bad. Like, hey, we're going mm -hmm. at E3 to go see our partners. We don't have anything that we want to announce. Like, we're here to, you know, see our friends. I'm like, there are. The major scene where they can announce something big and then they're just going to their friends and they are upfront about it. They're just like, yeah, we don't have shit to show. I mean, I'm still convinced Guys. that Blast Online's release was uh, ArenaNet. <laughs> <laughs> that could, yeah. I, I, wouldn't play, I, said I, know, I said it weeks ago, dude. I said, I said, Ana is, they're, they're, yeah, they're going to release Blast Online terribly. 
pretend not it, to, you know, be them. Is Bless Online NC Soft also? I, well, no. I mean, they, they don't want they don't want you to know. No. But, uh, hey, NCSoft <laughs> is a free company, were, like, isn't it? I mean, actually, I don't, I don't really know. I mean, if, if it was but, actually NCSoft, I don't think that would like turn back on Guild Wars Two being successful. Like everyone would just be like, really? Wait, These are the developers. Did. Like, ooh, ooh, except it did. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So I don't know. Mm. I, yeah. Look, all I'm saying is, ain't it? Doesn't know how to market. Bless Online fails. Guild Wars Two gets players. Thirty percent off the game. Yeah, I, you know. They, I just, like, literal advertisements for, for Guild Wars Two on the Bless website. Yeah, like, actually, that was a crazy thing. <laughs> I, you know, yeah, I, I don't know. That's that's. What that's, do you guys make of like I, the? the I know, ain't it. Thing, I yeah. got you back. Like huh? oh, in the in the starting area, what did you guys make of that? You know how like Gale was there, and they had like a bunch of like. Um, the developers and like people that worked at um, ArenaNet, just like there in Queensdale, welcoming people. Like, do you think that was a good touch? This was very yeah. smart. Like a lot of the stuff they did, the sale and all the, um, you know, the, the, the black line, the black line key, promoting yeah. um, like various guides and stuff on their Twitter. Yeah. Like, um, you know, the welcome to Guild Wars Two hashtag kind of meme going on. This was all very. You know, ah, yeah, this is all very shrewd very by, uh, by, by, by Arena. They had right? some time they, to think about it. This is, this is the marketing. This is the marketing department doing it, and it was all very, very well done, and it was but, subtle. Yeah. But, it was subtle. Yeah. Because, hold on a second, though. It was okay, subtle. Go on, go on. It was subtle, and they were very careful in their tweets and things like that not to specifically mention Bless, because you never yeah. want to, like, you never want to uh, troll an opposing company like that. You are, you, you are. Okay, they, they do this every June. It has nothing Bless to do with Bless our new players. Bless. This is just the, the June That's welcoming. Yeah, June welcoming. Like, are we going to do that all the time? Yeah. Do you not think that like their marketing that they did over the last like seventy two hours was better than like their entire year long campaign with yeah. that Griffin? We, I, was, I was about to say right, this is un. I was going to say it's better than the year long right? campaign with the friendship, you know? Oh, like, Gil's two friendship. Gil's two friendship Ooh, one. Yeah, yeah, like. about that. <laughs> like this is much better though. Yeah, like, I'd rather I didn't, have them just meme out a bit like this. I didn't like Gil's two friendship because I don't have any friends, so I couldn't. Mm. Go You've yeah. got me, Roy. I, I, I don't know. Got, I think this was a very effective series of actions <laughs> to do, right? It was kind of exactly what they need. They need to, you know, hey, come buy the game, you know? Running away, running away from another MMO? Well, you know, it's okay. Guild Wars 2 will always be here for you, okay? You know what it is, though? Again, you know, I mean, that, that's a valid tactic, you know? Like, if you, don't, if you don't do any marketing, it can't be good and it can't be bad, you know? And then you just wait oh, until everyone uh, else makes mistakes, well, and then you win, you know? You, like, you know what it as is, long as you don't fuck there's, up, you're still in the race. There's a very different type of marketing that you could do when you have eyes coming to your game already and when you want to draw eyes to your game, right? So, like, the year-long campaign is them doing lots of different things, trying to catch something, trying to catch some sort of spark and get people to look at Guild Wars 2 and come to it. But when there's already eyes on the game because of Bless happening and because of the Peon uh, video, they could do a very different style of marketing, which is a lot easier, but still very smart what they did because... I mean, when you do a 30% off sale when there's new players coming in, it's to welcome new players. But if you don't have that instigation, you don't have that those eyes already on it and people wanting to come, it looks kind of more desperate of, hey, we're doing a 30% per, uh, off yeah. sale. Yeah, yeah, Agreed. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, I think it's okay to do sales um, just on, on its own, on, on, or just as it stands, yeah. right? Oh, I think yeah. um, they've done some very successful sales in the past. Like, you guys remember, like, the first, the, I think one of the first ever sales was an absolutely insane sale. They, they sold the game for something like 10 bucks or something. For 10 years. Yeah, 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 that was perfect. That was, well, yeah, it was yeah, whoa! I mean, now, no, I, I, they didn't do that again because that was probably a little bit crazy. <laughs> uh, but, you know, but still. Man, no, it was so good. And, but, like, yeah, I bought I wasn't something here else then. that day. Yeah, yeah, dude, I bought accounts to give away on that day. Like, I, I just bought accounts and accounts and just gave them on Twitch. Yeah. So I wanted people to play the game. That was a good That's way. That's pretty cool. Um, but but Boots does have, have a really good point, though. It is kind of alarming that it takes something like this uh, for people to know. About. I think I think if I mean this is this is really sad. But if you if you ask like the, the average MMO gamer in another MMO, right, about Guild Wars Two, they'll probably they'll probably say something like, "That's a dead game, right?" Or like, "Do, yeah. do people mm -hmm. still play that?" You know, that's I feel like it's the same thing about all MMOs that are just no, continuously. No, because I think most people acknowledge that WoW is still played and and BDO as well. I don't think either of those MMOs are considered dead. No, Certainly but not. but everything you have in your brain about WoW, even if the game changes a lot 
but you're not playing it constantly. If the game changes a lot and you're not playing it, what you have in your mind about WoW is going to stay the same, right? Like, I still think I, I know what WoW is five years after I stopped playing it. And same thing with Guild Wars 2. Like, you, you check it out at launch, maybe you stop playing before the first uh, expansion, and you still think you know what Guild Wars 2 is, but it's changed dramatically over the years. So so I think, it yeah, it's it, it needs some sort of spark sometimes for people to take a second look at it. I mean, the marketing should actually focus on what has been brought by the expansions, because whenever you see advertisements for Path of Fire, it's always like, come play our new expansion, Path of Fire, just like still images on YouTube, on the, like, on the advertisement side, or just... When when the Path of Fire expansion was coming out, it was just like the one minute long video with just extremely short showcase of the specs and nothing else in mount just a little bit. Nothing really serious about what they brought into the game. Just like, hey, we got new specs. Hey, we got mount. Well, I mean, that's all they really brought into the game, right? With BF? No, because when they didn't do any advertisement like this for Heart of Thorns. So like they're never talking about the raids, they're never showing what the fractal is, they're never showing what you can make in your guild hall, they're never showing the old, even the older PvE stuff, they're not even trying to bring in on again. They've never shown when the the new map, so that was a while back, released in Warriors of World, they never showed it in any kind of advertisement on YouTube. So like someone who played Warriors well, of Sword... for Heart of Thorns? They, they, they had a pretty big trailer for the Desert Borderland. For did they? Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. They did. Yeah. Then that's my bad. Because I kept, I keep watching not, your not, videos not on YouTube. And I've never saw it. Yeah. <laughs> Do we know what they had at Pax East besides the Griffin? Like, nothing. did they? Was it just the Griffin? I'm pretty sure it's nothing. Yeah, yeah it was. I didn't it even. Was, they had a booth was a, in was front a, of the Griffin. Yeah. Oh, oh no, but no, the, no, the, the real reason they were there. Um, did it have any gameplay? Was it just people that were there? No, there was a. Um, they had a like a. There were a couple developers talking about story. I think the narrative, right? No, it was like about like sounds or something. Oh. There was like I remember this booth that was. Some I don't even remember what it was. It was some about story creating or something. Like that. There was like a small panel, but it wasn't just, gameplay. As as I know. What they should have done, right? Obviously, like the Griffin is like this huge thing that drags people in. They're like, wait, what What the hell is that, right? So then they walk over to it. They go, oh, this is just Guild Wars 2. I know what Guild Wars 2 is. Like, uh, it's a dead, dead game, game, right? Yeah. Right? That's, that's what they do. But then if you had like screens of like gameplay, like new features and like, you know, people like doing World v. World, people like, I don't know, flying around on mounts, seeing like Griffins, like, yeah. I, I don't know, well, just some repetitive scene or something. Why yeah, didn't they do yeah, that? That's what, what, what? I, I don't know. The one one of the things we were saying would be a fantastic idea is if they had that Griffin, but at the same time had tables tables with the games where you could experience a Griffin race or a mount race or something like that, and try out mounts, which are I think probably the best addition into Guild Wars Two well, in several did years. Did you guys watch? The, well, yeah. I mean, the uh, there was that Reddit post that wasn't on the Guild Wars Two subreddit. It was just like on our gaming or something, and it had like nine yeah. a ton of upvotes. It was just talking about how great the Guild Wars Two mounts are. So clearly, you know, the mounts were a big part of it. But did you guys watch the uh, the marketing stream uh, on what was it Friday or whatever? Yes. Uh, no, I whatever missed it. Was. One, no. I streamed it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah Josh. Yeah, Josh is leeching content. Deep on leeching two. content, yeah. huh? Yeah. I'm watching. Oh, what you guys? What you guys <laughs> oh my they were, god! They were saying that, or uh, Mark or whatever uh, Hoggle was saying that there's, you know, they obviously have had several different campaigns. You know, this Griffin, whatever different campaigns. Some of them work, some of them don't, which is fair. And he was saying that some of the ones that do work might not look like they work to current players or something, but they, the goals of them are to attract new players, and that. They've been successful in that. I mean, what do you guys think about that? It's possible. Well, we haven't yeah. seen the numbers. I I so. would be, sure. I'd sure. be inclined to kind of agree with that because you do you do typically see quite a lot of new active players actually in the starting areas. If you go back to the starting areas, they are still active. So I would be inclined to agree that that's probably true. I mean, um, so you think we're like yeah. too hard on the marketing team? Like you know, we're we're obviously I think the marketing team probably gets a lot of flack. Well, from a I, lot of people. I mean, I <laughs> certainly have said they don't market I very well. Think... Do you think it's because they don't focus on like what we want. the current players as much, right? They're they're always focused yeah. on new players. I think mm. we would. I think uh, you know, as as the slightly more veteran players, we'd be we are kind of looking them to shill stuff like raids and PvP and of course world versus world, right? But what um what is what I think the marketing team is doing is just getting in a uh, new uh, new players who just kind of play the game a little more casually, right? I think that is more of the the market that they're going for. I think. Yeah, but I don't, I, I, I what about player retention though? Like once you get yeah. all yeah, the new players in, how are you going to keep them? 
Well, if you, the, if game, you the game, the game itself there is, is a huge. If you're a new player, like I, we, when there is a lot of stuff to do. Yeah, yeah the, here's the thing, right? Like we, we say, oh, the, the, where's my content? Where's my content? Yeah, we've if been playing for six years. If you're a new, yeah, if you're player, a new player and you buy shit. Path of Fire and Heart of Thorns right now, you have got a lot to do. I mean, right? I'm you have I'm got writing this guide, play. right? I'm writing this guide. I'm trying to do just like the most basic, basic, basic guide for new players. Mm. And I was like, okay, this is going to take me like a day maybe. I'm going to write down two pages of all the most basic stuff and maybe some chips and tricks. I'm like halfway through writing it and I have six pages, 4,000 of words. It's, and this is just the most basic stuff, just trying to tell you what you could do in the game. It's ridiculous. It, like if you're a new player, you're beyond spoiled with what you get for your money oh yeah hello like no, there, there was a guy that got um he, he was saying that he got twelve thousand hours of play for a hundred and twenty dollars like that's all he spent in five years or something mm. twelve thousand hours for 120 dollars like yeah, i mean buy the game and you don't have to <laughs> at, pay at least like 70 of those dollars were optional at least well yeah. like that's no, the not thing necessarily yeah. not well, if about not the necessarily game both Expect. If you I mean, if you bought but, the Xbox and the release, it was a bit more expensive. Like Guild Wars yeah. 2 at release was 50, and then Heart of Thorns release mm. was 50, and then Path of Fire release was 30. I guess you did on release. Yeah, if, okay, you, if you just buy the, the minimum prices at releases, that was 130. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Okay. That's all right. I stand corrected. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I mean, if you yeah, buy them now, if you buy them now, if you buy them now, it's it's 50. Well, yeah. and 30 percent off, so value. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I, th I, I think. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, now, th this is something that I think uh, times are changing, right? Times are changing, guys, okay? I think something that probably could be worked on for Arena is probably getting new players into it. I think um, so something I like is having like this massive, expansive world that you have to go and try and figure it out. But I think nowadays people do prefer a more directed approach um, mm -hmm. that kind of does give you a little bit of, kind of show you what to do to a certain extent yeah. and i I, def, I definitely can see the fact that um people are a bit lost in the game like well what, what do i even do especially seeing as it breaks away from the tradition of you know you have the you know the yeah. big yellow question mark over someone's head right and you have to mm -hmm. chase chase that around and it, you can kind of just follow it around right because yeah. you get a story you get a story episode every 10 levels right but then what what do i do in between, do in between man so, like, what do I so do? that's the thing so that's the thing that i've been noticing already in this is that the game does a decent job of telling you things you could do, but it doesn't cover everything, not by a long shot. Yeah, I think and game tutorials would be helpful. Be a little bit better in game tutorials, but as for, like, if, if ArenaNet published a guide with everything, like some sort of video, I don't think they're going to do that, because I think they want to let creators, the content creators, do that kind of stuff, and maybe I mean, point We're just the void, aren't we? Like, yeah, uh, we I still are think it's important void. to have it in-game. Yeah, like, I've, I approached um, Ramon, um, who people probably won't know who he is, but he is one of the community managers for the partners. And I approached him for uh, involvement for a project that I wanted to encourage uh, the developers to work on a tutorial system to go into the next uh, UI that's coming with Swiss. So if they, if they do implement a tutorial system with PVP, then... I think that they should in, like invest money into a tutorial system in PVE so that people know about break bars, they know about conditions and condition clears, they know about combos. Like, how the hell are they supposed to know what combos are without accidentally doing it? Like, they mm. sit there and they're like, wait, I just did something and I don't know how I did it. Like, what why, What was that white text that just appeared? Like, yeah. why is that there? What? And then, you know, until somebody actually explains what combos are, they're like, oh, really? Oh, that's what that is? Like, I had no idea other, what that was until I started PvPing. And, watching and the other people. thing is, the new player experience, the 1 to 80 that you you have in the core game, uh, now with people buying expansions and doing the level 80 boost right away, they're just going to skip all that. of that. So, mm -hmm. I, mean, I highly recommend that people don't boost. That's their choice. Like, yeah, do not do boost. That. If you if you boost, get the mount f from POF just to, like, make your leveling experience a little bit easier, but do not like boost to 18 expecting what you're going to do yeah, yeah. Never just, it's just fun to level up a character too i think for the first time yeah, yeah exactly like you're exploring yeah yeah, yeah I, mean, I really I like that it's it's a really it's it's one of the few games where the leveling experience is really great right it's a the leveling experience is really really good in in Guild Wars 2. It doesn't doesn't really feel like much of a grind, and it's actually fun as well. Like, map... Uh, some people really hate map completion, maybe because they've done it way too many times. I really like map completion, man. I like that shit. It's chill. 
It's fun. It's relaxing. Especially with mounts. Yeah. Yeah, especially with mounts, right? It's good. But one of the things that Guild Wars 2 breaks with, uh, with other more classical MMOs is that whenever I played another MMO, mostly Korean grinders, is that you start in the starting city, like we have the, the cultural racial cities or whatever, but then you always go through a storyline that takes you to a big city, then a bigger city, and then the bigger, bigger city, and then you get to the capital and everything. But when you play Guild Wars 2, you get to Lion's Arch pretty early on in the, in the story, like for the people who actually play the story. And then what? Like, Lion's Arch is pretty much a hub where you can reach the fractals, reach the raids. Well, people don't do dungeons anymore, so that's not relevant. But, like, you're, you're not guided into approaching all the elements of the game by being taken from a city to another city where there's going to be a new NPC or an NPC with, like, the better gear or whatever. There is, no, there is no line that directs you from starting the game to the moment when you reach the maximum level and maximum tier of gear from one vendor. You have to mm-hmm. figure all of that out on your own and... I don't think any content creator actually bothered to explain everything from A to Z. Which could be I think the video would end up being like four hours long. Yeah. Like yeah. if you even tried doing like, that. You need wooden potatoes to narrate it, definitely. Yeah. Well, but if he does <laughs> yeah. it, it'll be even longer, man. What are you well, he's doing, doing, he's, doing his, <laughs> he's doing his playthrough where he is going to yeah. be doing that yeah. throughout the entire game, but it's like 400 hours long. So yeah. Yeah, like, he's at episode 42, and each episode is like, what, one hour? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like 40 minutes to, to an hour, yeah. Yeah, they, uh, yeah. episode stuff. 42, I saw it today. Like, like, I don't think that someone someone who starts the game is not going to watch all of that unless they're very bored at school or at work. Like, yeah. There's no way they're going to sit through 100 hours of wooden potato videos just to learn about the game as they're going to play it. I don't know. They might. I used to watch, when I started playing this game, I watched a lot of his videos. Yeah, I did as well. But I wouldn't like sit through an entire playthrough of 100 hours to learn about a game. I would like to just have I mean, quicker explanations yeah, on what sometimes you want. Sure, sure. sure. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he, well, he goes into a lot more like the lore and stuff. Yeah. So that's why it's longer. Um, so, I mean, if you're interested in lore, but... Uh, someone, someone mentioned in the comments. Just want to touch upon it. the the tutorial islands in Guild Wars One were really good, um, and I like those as well. That would be kind of nice to have something like that again. Um, and you could actually, I'm pretty sure, if you were like just making a new character, you could skip the tutorials too, if I remember correctly, yeah. uh, or have they would go faster. So I mean, well, you know, even that would be nice. Well, you you could you could have so you could have like an approach where there's like a, for if you're a new player, um, or just have it put there permanently as well. Like You know how you have those little buttons in the top left of the screen, like the cog and all the various things mm-hmm. you can click on to open mm-hmm. the UI? Want to have like a question mark one, right? Um, and it, it, it brings up don't this they, window. They don't have that? Well... Or did they have that in Guild Wars 1 and I'm just... Well, it, it, I think it, they had that in Guild Wars 2. Wasn't there a content help or something that yeah, you can there's, disable? Yeah, there's, the there's, there's a content thingy that kind of points you where to go, but no... I'm Wait, not, yeah, I'm, yeah. No, yeah, I've never yeah, used it. it you know, I actually think it's, it's kind of cool, actually, okay? That's, that's kind of yeah. cool. Uh, but it, it brings up this window, and, and it can, like, it, it, there's like a various topics of like combos or, I don't know, like stuff about conquest or world versus mm-hmm. world, or I guess you could kind of do... Like open world, like PV events, stuff like that. And then you could have one about raids. So, and then you click on these, and it can, and it, it, it will teleport you somewhere, to like, like a, you know, some kind of like open space, and it will give you tutorials, right, uh, about that. Well, that's an easy thing. way to implement it. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So, like, so just have it, definitely. have it basically completely removed from the world. I'm not sure if that's an approach Arena would want to have it completely removed from the world. Just have like this kind of blank slate where they can explain things. But I don't know, something like that could. Uh, you know, could potentially be pretty good. Oh yeah, the hints. The hint. The hints. Things were giant memes, though. Hints never really work that well. Uh, right. Yeah. Nope. That. <laughs> no. By the way, I just tweeted it out. I'm going to be giving away two 800 gem Ooh, codes. This listen stream. to this guy, Shill. Shill. <laughs> what do you mean, Shill? Wow. Shill. <laughs> you waited three. for us to reach 300 viewers before you yeah. said that. I didn't hear you saying that when we had 100. Huh? Mm. Well, okay. wait. Uh, and we're just, wait. Can I? Can I win the gems? As a as a brief. Can I win the gems? <laughs> how... I gave mine away. Can I have some? Like yeah, absolutely. Yeah, man. <laughs> how do you want to do? So, how do you want to do this, boots? I don't know. Do you, want, do you want to just start the it... giveaway now and we roll it in like an hour or something, or what? No, uh, no, we'll do one at a time, yeah. like yep. halfway through, and then at the end maybe. Halfway through, so in half an hour, then we'll do the first one, then right? Yeah, and and uh, uh, it, should, it can't just be new players only, right? There, there's no way to police that. No, no, no. no. I mean, yeah. like, no. You don't want it to be game. new players only. I'm not a new player, and I want your gem. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Send us your uh, your API key so we can check it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We'll check. Uh, I'll, I'll add you to friends and, and see how many hours you play. That's also one thing that Guild Wars 2 has that other games have less. I know that uh, BNS had it, but 
all the stuff the that API. developers have made with the API. And that's a crazy amount of content, and that's not being covered at all. And there is so much stuff you can do with the API. Yeah. So much stuff that is being pushed from the Git Wars 2 servers to us, and we can just like capture that information and make pretty incredible stuff on our own. But nobody talks about it. And I think that's one of the huge features in Git Wars 2 that has impressed me over the years. Mm. <laughs> I yeah. guess. I actually enjoyed that. Am I alone in this? Like, I feel, I feel very uh, singled out right now, guys. Oh, I, I like just, the uh, guy, I, I, mean, I, mean, me. it, I feel like that's an area outside of my expertise. Like, I, I okay. don't know about API keys. I know what they do. I know the, the, they pull the, data, right? Uh, I, uh, that's, the that's API like... in Guild Wars 2, you know, when I when I first um, kind of like, oh, you know, I made some stuff for Guild Wars 2, stuff like Mystic Builds, I had no idea about the API at all. Okay, so, so when I, I, I so... When I found out about it, like Mystic Bills already existed, okay, and I'd like typed out every skill into my own like custom database, okay. But it turns out you could just get them all from the API with everything on them, and it's like, whoa! Like, the the API yeah, for the, the API for this um this game is actually really extensive and really good as well. Um, yeah. the, what you can do with it is actually awesome. Like, honestly, if you wanted to, you could do some really overpowered stuff with this. Like, if you combine stuff like the the Mumble API with um with the Arc DPS API, you could probably create like a really abusive tool actually, uh, which would technically be legal as well, seeing as you're allowed to use that. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, I don't know. No one's done that yet, but you you could have. You wanted the, the API is very powerful actually. Um, you, 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 but no one, no one really abused it to the fullest extent. Like the most you can kind of see is Taco. In my opinion, Taco is pretty dirty, dude. Like Taco is pretty fucking yeah. dirty. Mm -hmm. It's just speaking it, of the API, though. I uh, I'm a little upset about the fact that there's not going to be any uh, uh, Poke not Pokemon Go, Polymod <laughs> Go announcements at the E3. Oh, oh dude, boy, Polymod that was God. potential. They've been talking about it for so long, or well, people have been talking about it for so long, though. I, I'd be surprised if they actually implemented it. Maybe it's with the next expansion. Yeah. You know that? Yeah, what else is, they had that little, when they uh, when they changed Lion's Arch, they added that little, like, arena thing that people thought was going to be, like, a little place for mini pets to fight. And they mm -hmm. never did anything with that. Mm -hmm. It was just kind of unfortunate. Yeah. Well, that, ar yeah. that arena was kind of a flavor thing, right? Because it, yeah, looks, like sure the, it, uh, it yeah. looks like the arena logo, right? And there's a net on top. Yeah. yeah. Or there That's was. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of arenas, the new free-for-all arena in the structured PvP lobby. Oh, it's so good. What it's amazing, fun. right? When it comes to designing environments, uh, arena well, really is second to none. Okay? You, know, you know what I said when I saw that? Where's, where's the GVG one? Like? <laughs> yeah. Obsidian You've got Sanctum, a massive it's getting away. Oh, uh, yeah. Obsidian You've got, literally got it already. Like, oh, really? Do we? Yeah. It's Where's that? Sanctum, man. It's that giant Colosseum that you keep using. It's huge. Oh, Perfect. Obsidian Sanctum. Sanctum. Oh, okay. What happens if I want to fight the other 20 guilds that aren't in my matchup? Um, uh, Invite them to your guild hall. Oh, guild hall. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, I, 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 yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but there's, there's, I mean, come on. Yeah, come on. GVG isn't a supported game, mode, though. It's not a, it's not a game. Oh, mode, so it's not, it's not look, exactly. Look, it's, look, it, I, I wouldn't be free for all lobbyists. Okay. I I Check. mean, hey, GVG yeah, is well, going to be a supported game mode very soon. Thing. It kind no, of is, not. though. I mean, that's the thing. Like the free for all lobby is a supported game mode because they do support it. I mean, that it's it's kind of a eh, well, you know, there you go. Uh, <laughs> and, and come on, they don't want GVG is ruining their game mode. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, and I, what, my, what, bad. I, my bad. I'm just going to stop. Yeah. Right. I'm sorry. But I, I, I think though. Um, I think I uh, I'm not supposed to say the G word. Yeah. I have to. It wasn't. I, am I was I am I completely crazy or was it wasn't not the case that um, a instance version of Obsidian Sanctum was not off the table? It's, I'm that, pretty sure it's off the table. It's off the table. Oh, okay. I think it's I think it's been tossed into the trash bin. That's like in a different room from the table. Okay. Well, uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, the thing is, I, I, I th let's be real here. Okay. Like, how many play how many players would they really be appealing to when they made the uh, uh, the, the GVG? A lot. Roy. Really though? I mean, really? Oh, yeah. In world I mean, versus I've... world, in a few months, who knows? Maybe, maybe a little bit more than a few months. Yeah, I would, I would, <laughs> wait, I would wait for a long time. Careful, boots. I mean, yeah. I... there's, there's gonna be GVG in as what? world versus world. Yep. What? Because it's all gonna no. be the the worlds are all Hold based on. off of guilds, and yep. I think that maybe those of guild alliances, and maybe they'll add a feature oh. that says you want this particular guild as your enemy for this week, and maybe they'll like have some sort of sure. some sort of thing that like. 
algorithm that makes you placed well, against the guilds you want to fight I, against. But personally, I think the best way to go about it is probably to... Well, I mean, I, we, we kind of sidetracked into GVG here, because Roy's on the fucking <laughs> stream, dude. Roy. Uh, so, yeah, I, I mean, if we're, if we're really going to talk about fixing GVG, the, the, the best way to go about oh, no. it is is probably to fix the guild hall, right? Uh, I think that's probably no, the best way to go. I think instancing OS would be easier. Would think it would be <laughs> easier than fixing it? Well, not... And I saw it easier, but it would maybe better. Do you need just a bigger arena? Yeah, the arena needs to be bigger. There's a lot of so we don't need to get into. I, I'm uh, sorry, I, don't, no, I didn't mean to sidetrack no, it. The, 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 <laughs> arena, the arena needs to be bigger, and the balance needs to be set to world versus world balance as well. Like that's that's um. There's, the there's a lot of different stuff. That's the things whatever. that needs to be fixed, really. So mm -hmm. yeah. Whoa! Look at this! Look at this fucking host, dude! Holy shit! We're famous now, boys. Um, Who hosted? Who hosted Niklo. us? Niklo. Oh, so Niklo. Hey, dude. Yeah, that uh, Peon hosted before, right? Yeah, it was. Boom. Yeah. yeah. Big so, viewers. Dude's guys. a BDO streamer. He's, BDO. Uh, embracing. Welcome, oh, embracing welcome this to the yeah, nice. game, my friend. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, by the way, Guild Wars Two is thirty percent off. Use uh, Ain't It Partner uh, <coughs> referral codes. Yep. Do Thanks. it. <laughs> you, you made an astute decision, my friend. Uh, <laughs> welcome, welcome, BDO refugees. He, he was he was actually playing Guild Wars Two though. Like he's been playing Guild Wars Two all day, but he is a BDO yeah, yeah. streamer. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Just, just to reiterate, oh, he didn't come from video. Fun. We hope you're having fun, lad. Mm, yeah, yes, sure. we do indeed. Anyway, is Guild Wars 2 the best MMO for new players at the moment out there? I don't. I don't yes, know, new players. Yeah. I mean, I haven't played any other MMOs. I, I think I've played other MMOs, and I think it's the best one. What, one of the things I've criticized Guild Wars 2 for is that it actually makes the game too convenient for you, and that I think that says it all, really. Uh, I think. Guild Wars <clears throat> Two, it uh, it gives it it uh, it fucks you over so not much that it makes other MMOs look barbaric and savage. Okay, um, this this game is actually it doesn't try and deliberately screw you over nearly as much as any other MMO. So it, it spoils everyone. So yeah, it's probably the best. It's probably the best MMO for for, for new players. All right. Unless so do you also, think it's also the one of the only MMOs I've played that doesn't lock the content behind anything that's unsurmountable. Mm -hmm. Like, if you want to play raids, you get your character to 80. You get gear, you go into a raid. What about Yax Rated. If you want to play rated PvP, you do the, uh, you need like what, like five games per 10k? Yeah, like you need, let's say, 100 games or so to get sure, to, to make sure that you have your rank 20 and then you can play mm -hmm. competitive. Guild Wars 2 is the best but mobile right now. If, if you play, let's say, for example, you play Final Fantasy 14 and you want to get into raids, you just have to do 170 ish story steps and each takes half an hour. And you're like, <laughs> yeah. I hate Final Fantasy XIV. For yeah, man, shit. I fucking hate it for that reason. Their, their quest system is like, okay, so start over here, then go over here, then go here, yeah. then go here, then go here, then just like you just jump yeah. from like the other side of the world to the other, and it's like I don't exactly. want to do that. And if you want to, if you want to fly in fucking Final Fantasy XIV, you have to go find like an orb that's hidden in a cave guarded by a dragon that requires 20 man fucking raids as well as doing like five story quests well, and like four other random yes, achievements it's, it's like yes fuck off yeah, i just want to fly <laughs> and it's yeah, yeah, yeah. as well here's Earth's the thing there, doesn't right. have that you, you just you just play the Wars 2 you mm. don't bother some, with all the shit you just play the game some don't people do really it. like that though yeah some people do like that um that kind of grind more intense work to get the payoff. Exactly. See, guy in chat, our boy Dragster. Okay? Some people do like that, okay? And I, I can actually kind of see the appeal of that, right? Like stuff so there's like, Heart of Thorns. I mean, so, I mean yeah, so, like a great example of this, I think, is kind of attunement quests in World of Warcraft. Like, people fucking hate that shit, and it doesn't really happen anymore, right? But it felt epic, dude, okay? Like, mm -hmm. you have to get attuned to even get in the raid, right? Like, today, that, that doesn't fly, right? That doesn't fly. But you can kind of see the appeal, right? It's kind of cool, right? It is kind of yeah. cool. Um, so, I think but, it, they yeah. do have that though. They, they, yeah. I mean, it's not an attunement, but like, I mean, like, okay, it's not a raid zone at the end of it, right? Or, or whatever. It's not like a it's dungeon you've unlocked. But it, yeah, it's, there's collections and there's a cheat, there's um, legendaries, right? So it's an optional choice to engage in that grind to reach an end goal that, you know, collect just random like precursor collections, all that shit. It's not forced on you to reach something that you want to experience. Yeah. Like, if raiding was hidden behind like a massive collection quest, yeah, okay, the people that were the elite would feel good about it, but the people who are casual who want to actually engage in that as well are going to suffer. So that's why all of the grinds that are in the game are completely optional besides, mm. you know, maybe getting ascended gear, but then that's that's like what a week. I mean, like, raids you can even aren't skip gated that behind. With, like 
you yeah, raids train. aren't geared behind Ascended Gear. You, you could do raids with oh, no, Ascended Gear. You can do raids, but, I mean, like, but the fra gear fractals are the stable. only thing that... Yeah. yeah. And but even so, fractals, you can experience the first tier of fractals naked. Well, I mean, in Exalted. <laughs> Ooh, you can. Ooh! <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm trying to get people naked. In real Always. Life. Always. Um, no, but no, you, you get what I mean, is that there is nothing where you have to actually grind for a long time or complete a set of requirements before you can experience the content. You might not get to the highest tier of the content, but you can at least experience it. Okay. Nothing prevents you from that. And that's mm -hmm. what I like mm -hmm. about Guild Wars 2. Yeah, but and speaking I, of... Like, see, guys, whenever we make alt accounts, we can take them to our favorite game mode within the first yeah. 10 hours yeah. of yeah. having the account. I, I have had... Um, yeah. In fact, actually, um, well... I went up when I, I did this challenge a, while, a very long time ago, yeah. actually, on my NG, actually, on a 24 hour stream to beat all the content, all the PvE content in the game uh, within 24 hours. And I, yeah, I, was, I, did the, I did all of the personal story, uh, one of every fractal, uh, and every raid. Uh, and every dungeon, every dungeon part. Every dungeon, oh, man. God. I remember that. Yeah, part every, and I, and, and, I, and I had I had a fully completed account uh, in twenty four less than twenty four hours, right? I, wow. Guild Wars Two is a game that doesn't screw you over, right? You can get right into the action. There's no waiting around. Go, go, go. Whatever game mode you like, as well. Like you can get into PvP really pretty quickly. You have to, you have to, yeah. you do have to level up a little bit. They it didn't used to be like that though, by the way. Actually, um, when no, they reworked the new player distance, experience, yeah. you could just go in at level two, right? But they actually did. You can still it. go. No, you still can. Can you still do it at level two? If you use the oh. hotkey that's oh. bound. Oh, yeah, you, yeah. If you use the hotkey that is bound to open the PP panel, you can enter at any oh. level. Yeah, in but there. the button doesn't appear, right? Until level two. No, the button doesn't see. appear, but the hotkey yeah. works. Yeah, 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 you can join on hot join as well. Like if you get a friend, you can go and join them in, yeah, a, yeah, in a hot join yeah. arena, and that's <laughs> it. Sort of but and PvP, then you go back to the lobby. Otherwise, PvP on a new account opens at level three, and it's you just have to complete a heart quest to do it. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You see, there's yeah, somebody you. said that said in the chat that like, oh, what do I do when I've completed like all the factors of the myths on challenge mode and all the raids? And it's like, well, okay, well, if, if you think you you've run better. out of content, you could well, you can either yeah, you can either get better at the execution of it, right? Or if you're really bored. Just log off, right? Don't come back for a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months. There'll be a new living story when you come back, probably. And after, like, you know, however many months it's been, there's another raid wing coming out. And the thing is, you can be offline for that entire time. Yeah, okay, you miss out on your daily logins and shit, but you will be at the same gear level as you are, like, right now, as you will need to be for that, that raid, like, that's coming out. So it's like you literally lose nothing. You can go and play another game, not feel cheated. Yeah. Like, you've got this gear thing, to, this inevitable thing you've got to catch up with, like World of Warcraft or Final Fantasy XIV. You will always be maximum. So like that's yeah. a really, really good selling point, I think. Yeah. And as we said before, when there is a new patch coming, it's not like the other games where you have to complete the new content of that patch before you get to the end game included in that specific patch. When a patch hits in Guild Wars 2, there is a variety of stuff you can do to say that have that have made changes to the fractal, to the race, to the living story, or whatever. You can experience any of these without doing any prerequisite steps. You just go and do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's well, for, you have to be level 80 at this point. But, uh, but we just said the example of someone leaving the game. Yeah, level yeah. But speaking of which, actually, so you do every few months when there's an update, you do need to log on to get that story step unlocked for you. <laughs> yeah. That brings me to a point. You Right now, if you're a new player, the one thing you will be missing if you get the expansions even is I don't think you'll get the all the Living World episodes that come along with those expansions. No, you won't. Is that correct? You won't. Uh, I think maybe that's something that Arena Net should look into maybe doing a sale on. In the, you could, uh, I, think when you I know they get unlocked, but I don't know if they come with it. Like, I don't okay. think they come with it. They get unlocked, but you'll be able to buy them, but I don't think they yeah. come with it. They're 200 each, and they're in some piece. cases very useful. I mean, they're each basically an extra map as well. So like, if you're a new player and you, you're looking for new maps and new content... 200 gems to it's, re it's really not expensive though right and you can also buy it with gold there is also that as well like what, what, yeah. what a really great thing about um about the way the the store is designed in guild wars 2 is that you don't have to spend Usually. real money right if, if you suppose mm -hmm. suppose you're really into black line keys right like me okay and you want to <laughs> you want to open a chest right then you can just grind the fuck out of the game, right? And you could go ahead and do that. Um, you, you know, if you if you want to unlock all of the episode, the story without paying a penny, you can do that. You, you are going to have to spend mm -hmm. some of your gold, but it, realistically, like two hundred gems. You, you know how you know it's you, sixty gold. Yeah, it, that, it's, it's yeah. literally sixty no, gold. Now that is nothing. A big deal. Like, now, that, now that really is pretty okay. Deal, yeah. Right. 
Uh, if you I mean, it's a current current conversion. You go yeah. for that hashtag content. Ain't, yeah, ain't for that, that, for that content, dude. You know, like so. Yeah, yeah. You, that's not too bad. Like, all you have to do is log on. Like, honestly, if you can't be fucked to log on, I, I mean, just to unlock it. I mean, really? <laughs> Follow them really? on Twitter and find really? out when the next episode's coming out, and just log I mean, in once, unlock it, and log off again. Yeah. Sorted. I mean, it's it's literally zero effort. That's what you gotta do. I mean, come on. I don't, know, <laughs> I don't think that's too much of a. It's not exactly much of a chore, is it? But uh, I don't know. No. Maybe, maybe that's too much for people. But who knows? Um, I, I mean, know. if you can't make sixty gold in like a week, and if if playing the game for a week is too much for you, then I, I don't know, go play a different so game. I Tingle guess. Manius actually just said that you can get the sixty gold playing one episode to the next. I think that's yeah. true. I think Wooden Potatoes actually did a series on that about how. When you complete one of the episodes, it actually gives you the gold amount for the gem really? conversion to get the next one. So you can actually follow it like linearly and just move like through them one by one if you do the achievements and stuff within them. So that's I think pretty that's cool. pretty interesting as well. Like uh, maybe people don't really notice that. Maybe that's just maybe it's intended, but then people spend the gold on other things and then they don't manage to reinvest it. So like if you were trying to do that, then you could. I'm perpetually spending all my gold and never <laughs> reinvesting it in anything. That's because you're always making new bad builds. Yeah. There's a guy in Lion's Arch that keeps taking all my gold and just never gives me anything back. So <laughs> I've, been, I've been struggling with that one for a while. Huh. Speaking so. of which, though, um, way, a good way to make gems is actually right here in stream. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, wow. oh, selling out, out really? Yeah. Selling out, yeah. wow. Because, okay. What do you mean selling out? We're giving away <laughs> things. Okay, so what do I have to do? Subscribe to your YouTube, follow you nope. on Twitter? No, no, no. Okay, so maybe we should ask a question and the first person to get the right Ooh. answer. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I like that. That's Ooh. a good idea. Oh, do a historical question, Boots. Do an obscure Damn historical it. question about... Not obscure. <laughs> yeah, PvP question, players. please. Like, yep. It's got to be somewhat history friendly bullshit. to you. Okay. Okay. Hold on. No. 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 Deep. Deep history because it's got to be somewhat friendly to new players. And we, none, uh, of us, none of us can say it either. You know, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Let's see. Go to the wiki. What is the name of uh, the 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 leader of the humans? Can I? Can I, I, know I, know this? I know this. I know this. I know this. I know this. I mean the current leader. I mean that counts. You mean the current leader, right? Yes. I mean I, someone already said it. I mean like so. Within like one second, dude. Okay. Yeah, but it also that's they put it in. Question. They Come did on, not dude. type it correctly. Does that? Yeah, that still counts. Yeah, that okay. Still counts. I know that shit, dude. Okay. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. Okay. So congratulations, oh. Oranizagu. It's an easy question. Doesn't matter. Uh, and I will. Eight hundred gems of your life. Okay, continue, continue talking. I am gonna go someone, uh, whisper them. Oh yeah. Someone asked in someone asked in Twitch chat um, if we could go over. <laughs> they said, "Hey, I'm from BDO, and I'm a bit confused about like the armor and the runes. Can oh, we go yeah. over how that works real quick?" So there's how many different? There's what? There's basic. Uh, fine. Fine. fine like, master work, rare. rare, exotic, extended, green is master. Rare. Rare. Yeah. Not uncommon. Yeah. Whatever. It's not good. Yeah, but yeah. Work, yeah, there's not there's not that many tiers. And then obviously legendary armor, but that has the same stats as ascended. Mm. Um so ascended is or or legendary, whatever you want to call it, is essentially the best tier of armor you can get. Um and you can craft that, you can get it from fractals, you can get it from raids, you can get it from World of World, you can get it from PvP, you basically get it from Any everywhere. Any game, game mode can get yeah. it to you. Um other than op I don't think you can get an open world PvP. You can, get it as a you can drop chests. Chest. Oh, oh really? Oh I you didn't can really drop them, yeah. Um but yeah, I mean, all and you can craft all the different types of armor. Um, you can get them from dungeons. You can uh, obviously just get them as drops. Um, the only armor you can stat swap though is ascended, and then obviously legendary armor can stat swap itself. But uh, and then runes are just most runes you can buy off the trading post. Some are exclusive to like dungeons or buying them. Um, should we from, like? Uh, PV maps and stuff runes, like that. What runes are? They're kind of like customization options as well, right? So they're the, they're the upgrades yeah. armor. Yeah, ru Except runes can be attached. You can attach like one rune to each piece of armor, and you have six pieces of armor, so you can have six runes. Yeah. And each one, basically, the more runes you have, the more bonuses you get, right? So you might start off with There's twenty-five extra power, right? But by the time you get to the fifth rune, you might get a hundred power for that bonus, right? Uh, and then the sixth bonus is usually is quite often something unique. For example, a scholar rune will give you ten percent extra damage while you have over ninety percent. If you HP. have, if you have all right. six, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only if you have all six, right? So, but for every one, you can you get additional bonuses, right? So that you can actually mix and match them, although that doesn't typically happen that much, and you can't do that in PvP either. Right? You can't Ru do that. Ruby orbs, either. boys, let's go. 
Yeah, oh yeah, yeah you, could even, you could even do that you as well. Old school, man, old school. Uh, yeah. And then the, the, there's an equivalent of, of runes for weapons, which are called sigils as well. And those are just getting yeah. upgrade components that do something that like they get. They then, might cause like a fire burst or a five percent damage or yeah. more critical strike chance or like a healing burst when you crit or something. That sort of thing. So they, you yeah. also have uh, you also have infusions that you can upgrade uh, ascended armor with or weapons or trinkets. Um, and those are just plus five stats to your gear. Um, and there are some and also agony resistance. There uh, are some cosmetic also, yeah. infusions as well. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, like, which are some of the most. We should probably, we should probably try to, to sum all of this up because I think we're giving off like bits of information <laughs> right now, guys. But well, I'm not sure that helps the video. Most guys. important thing is ascended gear is the best gear in the game, and you never have to upgrade it after that. Except just, for legendaries. Well, yes. legendaries, well, legendaries aren't better. Legendaries are the, the same. Stats. That's, that's that that cool. why it's exactly the same. Convenience but convenience-wise, they're better. Convenience-wise, they're better. Although yes. obviously, mm -hmm. it costs to get them. Sam. And also, they're pretty. The gearing system's fine. Like, Drawling Liver just said Anet should simplify the whole gearing system. It's already mad simple. What do you want? Like, scaling eye level? Like, let's go play World of Warcraft. Let's go. Well, actually, no, let's play Destiny 2. It's even worse. You, like, you, you get one piece of gear that increases your eye level by one, and then that gives you a higher chance of getting that item level, but you might also get something that's, like, 20 item levels lower. Like, it's... There are some terrible gearing systems out there. This is actually one of the best ones, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, I think it's pretty. So what you need to pay attention to when gearing is that there is a level limit on pieces. When you get to ascended, you need to be level eighty. Same for legendary, and as we said before, there are different tiers of rarity. When you get to ascended, stats can be swapped manually with the recipe. When you get to legendary, stats can be swapped manually by just simply clicking the piece. And then when it comes to improvements that you can put in the gear. We said runes for the armor, sigils for the weapons, and all of it has infusions, be it stats or cosmetics. Cosmetic ones having stats as well. The stats on the infusions can also be swapped. There you go. Sound up. Easy. Wait. Yeah! That was like, that was like simple. Stats and infusions can be swapped? Yeah. Do you, how, how wait, do you, can they, wait, can example, they really? I thought you had, no, you had to buy them. Wait, no, what? for example, Winter's Heart Infusion, when you drop it from a Christmas present, it is hitting power base, okay? If you take it to the Mystic Forge, you put five snowflakes, you put 25 of a specific component that's going to choose the next stats. For example, 25 uh, powerful blood makes it power. And right. Then you add, uh, like, I think it's crystal, and the last piece should be ectoplasm or Mystic Core. But is that only if that particular that, infusion? There's only no, a few, all I think the infusions good. have specific recipes tied to them to stat swap. So, so in other words, can be start swaps. So in other words, right. Wiki is your friend. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there you go. That, that's that's a good one. Okay. Yeah. It's it's time to it's time it's time to move on from this. Okay. Yeah. It's time. All right. It's time. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> what do we have to talk about? What were we even talking about, man? Before. Well, like, here's, here's a game? topic. Okay. Something oh, yeah, in the chat. Okay. Let's go. We're asking to compare. Gilbert can you guys compare BDO and, uh, and GW two? Do you guys know anything about BDO? I don't know no. shit about I just BDO, know it's, it's a Korean grind I, I fest. I played it a little bit. There's no fishing in Guild Wars. I can, I can give you like biggest a little, difference. I can give you a tiny breakdown at late. Right, but go on, you carry on, you carry on. The biggest difference is that the desert in Guild Wars 2 is crystal and... Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Can I leave? Can I go home? <laughs> can I go home? All right, all right, all right. All right, here's your breakdown, all right? BDO is pay to win, Guild Wars 2 is not. Okay. Nice. If you want an if, if you want an outfit in uh, Guild Wars Two, you can buy it with gold to to gems. If you want an outfit in BDO, you pay thirty dollars. You pay the same amount for the Path of Fire expansion as you pay for one outfit in BDO. If you want to hit maximum level in BDO, you have to grind for like seventy two hours or like actually that's that's just from like fifty eight to fifty nine. If you want to hit fifty nine to sixty, I think it's like a week, right, of doing the same bullshit. It's like. BDO has so much grinding stuff. Like you have to pay to get like uh, like the gems, like the sockets at the end. Like um, I think it's like a you put in. It's like your, your percentage chance is lower every single time that you apply this like upgrade yeah, to your gear. Right. And to be competitive, you have to keep applying this the stuff to your gear. And I think the stuff that you apply to your gear costs money. Like real life, like uh, real yeah. market trading or whatever. Like what if you want to make sure it doesn't break. Like, if you want to just apply yeah. normally, you can apply stuff you find in the game, but there is a chance of your equipment breaking. Then you're back to square one, and you're well, fucked. fuck that yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah, man, <laughs> That's exactly, like, my combat. comparison. BDO was a complete cuck. Guild Wars 2 just, like, fondles your balls. 
I, Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. You know what I mean? I like the, the hand movements. We can see that you have some practice in there. Yeah? <laughs> Cygnus says I'm wrong. I mean, I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Now, like, um, if I were to compare uh, my experience in video, like, if you if you make a new account in video and then you make a new account in, in Guild Wars 2, you're going to realize that video is a huge piece of the ground. Like, you're going to need to kill specific mobs to get specific items, and then you're going to need to complete the quest to get to the next one. You try to follow a storyline that takes you in various places, but you're not exactly directed into what you should do in between to level up or to gear your character. Meanwhile, in Guild Wars 2, you're just going to, like, get into the game, play around a bit, and whatever you play in, you're going to progress somehow. You're never going to get fully lost. That's already mm -hmm. better. You're never going to have to like grind for hours to get levels or to get the gear or to complete a quest. Everything can be accomplished within a reasonable time frame. Does BDO have a world versus world equivalent? Yeah, They have no Open world PvP. Yeah, they have, they have open world. They have I, open world PvP, man. Uh, starting level 13? I, I don't really know. I don't remember. I know they have there, there is a level limit before you get into open world PvP, so you don't get fucked by a random level 60 when you're level 1. So that, that would be a bit annoying. Now, Nike says too many people in this. We should invite him on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Nike, we should, we should get, Nike. <laughs> get Nike DNT on here, guys. He can fit in somehow. You know, we can, we can We've put got him... a spot between you and yeah, Jaws, Yeah, put him under Jaws. Uh, <laughs> there is actually a spot. There. Plenty Sweet of space. Man. Let's just call all of Twitch chat, man. Let's go, okay? You know... <laughs> okay, right. Let's let's have an interesting question, okay? Because I'm not even I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure if if, if I know the answer to this one. How should ArenaNet promote their game to new players? Like, how can ArenaNet slay the the lie, the 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 the, the untruth that Guild Wars Two is a dead game with no content for casual open world? Uh, fucking uh, like flax harvesters. Think, okay, how do we slay this illusion? How do we tell them that actually it's a hardcore PvP PVE world versus world experience that only the most grizzled players can even possibly hope to survive? Okay, it's not actually like that, but yeah. No, it's not actually. Like, that's a problem. That's a first problem. But if you want to do that, we would need to have like showcases of raid content. The mm -hmm. only raid video that we have from Arnanet was when Heart of Thorns released, where they showed off the first wing and they said raids are going to be this incredible 10-man content where you saw them taking an updraft of Gorshevel, which is pretty hardcore as we all know. Just like, they, they did one video at the start, but then they never bothered to make another one. And just simply making more than a 10-image slideshow that they put on the living story as there is a raid would already be better. Like, hey guys, we've got so many wings. This is the kind of content. This is how our bosses look. And they're pretty hardcore. Look at this. Look at people wiping to it. Look at all the mechanics it has and the complexity of it. Even maybe showing a little bit of actual player gameplay in it. Not from their stream, of course, because that's a little bit... That's not too good, but yeah, like, they could take something from your stream, people. I don't think they should. The, the elitist raiding like, party, man. Yeah, let's go. Uh, like, man, this is yeah, get more involved in community but, stuff. Uh, you know, oh, I yeah. was talking to someone about this the other day, actually, and I completely agree with what Mr. Lowkey VXH said. Twitch drops, boys, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Twitch, Twitch drops. Yes. Let's go. It worked really well for StarCraft for a start, and for BDO, if I recall correctly. And it was ESO, for... wasn't it? Oh, you... sorry, ESO. So, well, one of yeah. those. One of the ones that you know. ESO, yeah. uh, and, it wrote... and for Fortnite, boys. Let's just talk about Fortnite, okay? Fucking hell. Uh, Twitch. <laughs> Shit! Waterfall. Um, Teapot drops okay. too, guys. Yeah. I, yeah, I just dropped something like, in solidarity. <laughs> scripted. There. Yeah. So <laughs> scripted. What the fuck? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so, so can, twi can Twitch, you what, yeah. Twitch drops is so people are asking what they are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So basically, you, you get you basically get free stuff uh, for ah. for for subbing and uh, give. Uh, can does it work with bits as well? Is it subbing. Yeah. You with don't sell shit. out, dude. What? You yeah. Get free stuff for subbing. Uh, so, hey guys, let's uh, test it you get it with Prime, right? Yeah. If you have if you have something to do with Prime and subbing, you get free shit. Boom. So I don't know if you have to have Twitch Prime. I think it's like. If you just have your account hooked up to your in-game account on whatever game it is you're playing, the they sort of register the amount of time you're watching the stream or like your involvement of the stream, and then they sort of like, they give you like um, I don't know appearance items or something. They they effectively mm. reward you with a loot crate or something. I don't know if it's actually influenced by Twitch Prime or not, um, but I, I do. I mean, Jebra is saying it's any Twitch account, so it, it's actually rewarding you for like supporting your content creation oh, like shit. community. I think so. It, it's like. Light as well. 
I, I suggested this to like uh, to Ben. Literally, I had a conversation with him like two nights ago. Um, that I thought that we could find a way to sort of maybe do it over a weekend, maybe do it like one weekend a month, or you know, reward people with it, like maybe a hundred gems a week or something. You don't want to crash the gem market, obviously, but like so, if you give people an incentive to watch Twitch streams, then the view count on Twitch goes up. We the, the game gets more exposure. People find it passively. They find the game passively. It's it's like a huge advertising thing. But he said that like you know that they need to have a system in place to actually develop that content to develop those items but yeah i can't imagine that's going to be that hard like to just make a t-shirt or something with twitch on it or whatever they, they've got one that says guild wars 2 already just reskin it put twitch there you've done it you, you've got access exactly so, yeah pretty much i, I, I don't know it's like, for I, not knowing shit about twitch drops by the way nice meme uh, honestly, <laughs> i've never even been there so I, I i really don't know what i'm talking about but it, i know it worked out really well and it was easy promotion yeah, it, it boosts the viewer count and shit so i know i know it worked mm -hmm. out <laughs> Uh, but you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it would be really thing. awesome for Guild Wars too, man. I think it would be really awesome. Easy shill, yeah. easy shill for Arena, man. Like anything that can that can boost the views on Twitch mm. would be welcome at this point. Like not even necessarily Twitch jobs, but actually more effort into putting forwards the streams. Like announcements in the game happen for the old PvP tournaments. That was nothing for yours, people. For the 80s raid party, nothing on Twitter, nothing in the game. This could have been so With huge. I mean, I mean, single uh, biggest viewers to Twitch, except for the X Men Five K yeah. viewers, boys. Let's go. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> but, I mean, yeah. I mean, it was and, pretty uh, bad though. It was. It wasn't the know, same weekend as Pack. So I mean, rip that shit, dude. But you know. Oh yeah, yeah. Because you know, yeah, that happened, lot, there was a lot going on at Pax at that point, right? <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what? The the second the second biggest stream, by the way. What was the second biggest stream? Wait, what? The Miss Challenge. Oh yeah, of course, the Miss Challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, we, got we, got, two... we got tweeted out by Ain't It. <laughs> I guess we're just better. <laughs> well, it yeah, so. wait, I mean, wait, and then, and then, well, I mean, maybe, maybe next time, and, and things are going, you know, a little bit in in the favor of, of community events. For example, uh, Jebro is getting posts for his tournaments. Uh, he's getting forum blog posts, posts yeah. blog posts, right? Yeah. Not uh, not forum yeah. posts, blog posts. So that's good, right? And I believe what was which was it also the the Yugo which was on the launcher, as well. Yes. Yeah, yeah, they put it on the launch. And like, that, that's yeah. big. Yeah, like, in, in my opinion, that's, that's pretty good. That's really Oh, good. you mean right. like after you log in, after you like yeah, yeah, yeah. information? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought you meant like on the loading screens for a second. I was like, no, no, nah, no, okay, no. That would be really good, right? <laughs> that would be awesome. They do that for totally good. that for the world tournament series and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, that sort of thing is really good. We need some more of that. Yeah, because that means when the when the when the player the player logs into the game, they say, ooh. What's this? Okay, and then yeah. wow, it's a community event. Wow, exciting! I mean, since Cause, cause since we have the possibility to embed Link directly onto the Gear Wars 2 screens, like the training post is basically well, uh, they can do that. And they web page the interface. Control. They can literally put the link, and then if you click on that specific part of your screen, it takes you to Twitch. It's yeah. as simple well, no, as that. No, right now, here's the thing: that they're never going to do that. And I actually, the, uh, uh, we've talked to. I think we've actually even had a conversation with a developer on Tea Time before in chat. That is, of course, <clears> about why they don't do this. And it makes complete sense. It's because they're not going to be willing to link to third-party content, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's uh, saying To that me, I... that that is, uh, you know, I yeah. So it would I, have I to be hosted right? on Guild Wars to Twitch. That would I, work technically. They would. They might Ooh, put their own, but then but I feel even like then it's another person, right, doing it, and they're probably not overly comfortable with. Their yeah, but I mean, doing... us as Arena Net partners, we have access to go onto the Guild Wars Two right. page if we want to. The only thing I don't, the reason I don't do it is because I feel like I'm kind of silenced a little bit. Like I, you have to conform to like family friendly, and there's absolutely no fucking way that I can do that. <laughs> well, yeah, you play. I PvP mean, I'm, all, I'm already I mean, toxic <laughs> and salty. Like, how do I do that? Like, that's literally like not a characteristic that I have. I'm not PMA, okay? Maybe a little bit, but. <laughs> Not PMA. You know what I mean? You're not PMA? Wow. <laughs> I mean, I put PMA in my title in cap capitals, but, you know, maybe. Maybe yeah. that works. Maybe that's yeah. enough. I don't know. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm on subbing. Yeah. I definitely think that is yeah. true, though, that they do oh. need to have links to these community events, possibly in-game or in the launcher, because... I mean, for all these new players coming in, how many of, the, of them do you think it actually like subs to the Guild Wars 2 subreddit and subs to or uh, subscribes to the uh, Twitter page yeah. and stuff like that? Like, not that many, I'm guessing. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there, if we look at the Roots, Reddit, to, to go yeah. back to, sorry, to go back to what, what you fun? said earlier on when we were mentioning being guided into Guild Wars 2, you said, but yeah, but they leave it to the content creators to create all of these guides and to help the new players into figuring out what's happening in the game. You said that. 
But then if they don't make use of that pool of content creators, if they just have the list at the bottom of the site on that content creator page, they're missing out. Like the website could be built a little differently and that they could have explanations on diff different classes with like actual demonstration of gameplay or specific video by a creator that showcases a specific uh, class or specialization and explains everything in it. And there have been videos by content creators going deep into details of every bit of uh, the specificity of every class. And they're not capitalizing on this, and they should. I mean, uh, Gods of PvP did that, sort yeah. of. Like, Angels actually did that. He actually has a page which is like content creators, their YouTube link, their Twitch link, and whatever. Also, and he puts them under a, a class name. That. The Gears Suicide could have that, or link to it, or just offer more than just a list <laughs> of the partners mm -hmm. in no um, specific order. Is They're not even sorted out by what they do, the partners. No. Well, I mean, it's alphabetical. Uh, I mean, I think there's yeah, people there that like... That's, that's not good, though. I think half of them are like creative partners. So it's like, well, yeah. do I want to watch artwork or do I want to watch gameplay? And it doesn't not tell that you there's anything are. wrong with artwork. All right. No, no, there's I'm not, I'm not saying that, artwork. but I'm just saying yeah, that no, no, they're no, no, completely no, no. different that... categories of the game. Like no, just, uh, no, content creation. For example, when, when I look into a new MMO, when I want to try out a game or something, I look for gameplay. I look for gameplay on specific classes. I'm like, we don't want to play this. I want to look at what the class does at the start of the game, at the middle of the game, and at the end game. I want to know what it does. And there is nothing like that on the Gear 2 website. There is just written explanations very light on what the core classes were. That's literally what we have. That's it. Well, it could, uh, it could mean, get a little bit more work. I mean, yeah, you could definitely, yeah, I definitely think there could be more curation done for the, um, especially for the content creators. And obviously ca categorizing them is a really big deal, right? And you could, you could, mm -hmm. you could, ha you could even have the partners kind of self-assign. For, for example, if someone plays elementalist a lot, right? Okay, like uh, I think, the, uh, yeah, you could have like a tag that is like, okay, this guy is an Elementalist player, right? So you can come and watch this guy if you want to check out Elementalist, right? But I think that, um, I think it, it's a little bit tricky if they want to be like directly um, advocating for guides on their own website. I'm not sure if that's something that ArenaNet would particularly want to do. I think they're very happy to promote them uh, on Twitter, but actually to have it on their website, um, I'm not sure if that's something that, they would really want to do. I, th I think they'd have to go through or a launcher. very... Or maybe just launch it. Uh, maybe, maybe just launch it. I think to, to do that sort of thing is definitely possible. I think it would be really awesome, but I think it would there'd have to be like a really long kind of vetting process, right? They'd have to really make sure that they're um, happy with it being, representing them, the company, right? I, I kind of want to like make a note. I, I, like this is kind of personal for me as like a internet partner i keep saying that but basically they don't always um promote guides right so there's been an instance where i i spent like three days making a the role video my role pvp video it literally tells you how to like work with your traits how to create synergy how to like find out what role you're going to fulfill in pvp and i posted it and it didn't get um, like featured. You, you, like if you're a arena partner, you know how that works, right? You know, you know how you like you post it somewhere, and sometimes it goes up, sometimes it doesn't, right? They just choose. Yeah. And that I thought was like really educational. But then sometimes I see them tweeting out videos uh, of like people that are just opening a hundred black line chess, and I'm like, do you want to <laughs> like actually really inform? Yeah, like do, do you want to inform your community about how to actually improve in this game and like you know try and introduce them to another feature within your game and like, or do you want to just like promote the whole loot box like thing that every other game does and then go, oh look at this clickbait. It's like fuck that shit. Show what I've actually worked really hard on. I'm not just sitting here recording my screen, opening a hundred black lion chests and calling it. Man, concept. that's pretty. That's pretty you hard know? content, man. Whoa. You need to have some pretty good guts for well, that, eh? I like, mean, I, when you look at all your me, money man. disappearing, man. You you tell him a bit. I'm a bit passionate about this. Man, it hurts. It hurts. It does. Dude. People's okay, dying, man. Yeah, my partnership's gone people. already, guys. Like, fuck me, right? <laughs> I mean, Ben's Dude. in here. There's probably some developers here, like, buddy. Okay, I enjoy my black lion key opening stream. Okay, all right. What's uh, what's going on here? Jebro, I know it's not, it's not Arena Net's job. Okay, so Jebro says it's not Arena Net's job to promote our content, right? I agree with you. I have my own methods of promotion. I go into other streamers like streams and I post my links. It's how it works. But I'm not I'm I'm just I'm surprised that like it just doesn't actually like pay off when I I provide them with something educational. Okay? I don't I don't think a bad build has ever been retweeted. <laughs> oh man! I mean, it's a bad build after all. Yeah, I know they don't want to. They don't want to promote bad playing. So there you go. Yeah. No oh, man. Wow. Uh, are, you, are you like? Are you sort of like hinting that like my guide is bad? Is that what you're Whoa! Oh, no, 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 no! I wouldn't. Oh, your guide was actually. 
I Matt, I watched your video. I watched it. Yeah, I just happened to I, I generally don't do that, but if, I watched it. If anybody it ever asked me how to play PvP, I will link to your guide. Is how good it was. That yeah. is that yeah. is the way. Yeah, it was it's pretty good shit. Okay, it's but your guide roles. and Gods of PvP. That's what I. Gods of PvP dot org. By the way, no, actually, I shouldn't say no. that in front of that. Don't, many. don't say that. No. Don't dot angel. net guys. Dot net. <laughs> The, the story is basically if somebody doesn't know, if you go to godsofpvp.org, it reroutes you to meta battle. Uh, meta battle. And that was because there was somebody who doesn't like angels who rerouted that. And um, <laughs> the one Sorry. thing, the one thing I'd say as far as ArenaNet not promoting um, our, like they don't have to promote our content. Yeah, obviously they don't have to. But aren't they sort of saying that we're supposed to be the ones promoting the game, right? I mean, you know, they're like, oh, the players are the best way of of getting the game out and marketing the game for uh, for you and so it you know it's sort of self-promotion in a way and also jo like for instance jodges's guide right obviously a lot if you know we have all these new players if they say hey it's how do you like, oh i want to i want to you know learn what this class does in pvp i want to learn what this class does in pvp how do i do that they're not going to be able to do that just in game unless you know they they you know take the time and play themselves if they want to find a guide for it, then why not have Jodgers' guide sort of be at like the top there, if it's yeah, if it I is mean, good. I, I, I mean, I, 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 think... I, I don't really think that ArenaNet promoting content. I mean, they should. I think it's. I think it serves self interest. It, obviously, if it's good content. I mean, if it's if it's not so good content, you know. I, th I think uh, I don't know. P personally, uh, I take a slightly different approach to all this thing. I, I kind of feel like the community can kind of stand on its own two feet, really. Um, uh, when it when it comes to to this sort of thing, I, I think you know if you make a good guide, uh, the guide is going to get it's going to get out there, okay, to people who who are going to see it, uh, no matter what. Like obviously, a read net, I think it is actually in their interest to promote this sort of thing because it's going to increase people's interest in every game mode, right? Like people might be more into PvP <laughs> if they see the stuff, or if they retreat uh, raid guides, people might be more into raids, more into fractals, that sort of thing. So it's obviously in their in their interest, but they don't have to. And either way, no, those guys th those guys are going to reach people. Um, and I don't know. I think a lot of community events uh, do really well. I mean, like, I don't know. Like a great example of this is, is the raid tournament, right? Like that. I think it would have been really awesome if that had got promoted. But hey, look what happened to the raid tournament. No matter what, right? People were really interested. And then using mm -hmm. stuff like if, if, if we were talking about the Reddit. The Reddit is a really really powerful tool, right? That the subreddit is actually very active. Um, uh, mm -hmm. in, in my opinion, like what, yeah. if I go there right now, four thousand bless refugees on right now. Amazing. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I, I kind of feel like the community itself has a lot of clout on its own. I think you don't need. I mean, if you look at if you look, the, the thing that's really hot is build guides, right? If you uh, like yeah. a great example of this was dude, the fucking Papa Nemesis uh, and Brazil, right? Brazil had like guides Papa for Nemesis. every class. All of his guides had like 200k views. Like uh, Nemesis's videos had like 200, 300k views. Like my Minstrel Chrono video has 100k views, right? Like all, all of this stuff, right? It, it, Boots' it, builds. It, yeah, have... Boots' builds are like they all get like consistent 20k, 30k views, right? Some of the some of the ones mm -hmm. that have been around a little longer will have will have even more than that, right? Okay, so all this sort of thing, I don't know. Uh, the, the community has a lot of muscle, man. I, I don't know. I think um, I think we can do a lot of stuff on our own as well, right? Do you not think it's just them building, like, it's more a case of them building off of what we do, right? So, like, you having 5k viewers on that, that ERP, that was amazing, right? If they'd even tweeted it out or, like, somehow promoted it, that could have been more. And the thing is, it's not so much just like, okay, well, this this is just a random tournament that's being made by somebody in the community. It's it's an opportunity for them to actually showcase what the game has at Endgame as well, create it, make it competitive, and then, you know, they can make money off of it because obviously that's that's business. If, if their marketing team actually really looked at what you were doing, I mean, they, they said, oh, they were busy at PAX East, they couldn't see it. But if, if they actually, like, played off of it, they could have, you know, been way up there. 10K viewers, 9, 10 k viewers, and they would have been, like, on the, you know, at least the top two rows of Twitch, which is huge exposure. And then all that takes is snowball. Like, you know, if they if they put it at 10K just from the community, that could grow to 12, 14, 15. Just from random people going, wait, Guild Wars 2 has viewership? Why does it have viewership? <laughs> Clicking on it and then finding out that there's, like, some community event. You make it super exciting, which you did. It was super professional. Like, there was tons of production value. And we could have grown. You know, it's it's just the marketing team are just not switched on. They're too involved with defending a bloody Griffin in PAX East. That was the the worst thing they've ever done, quite honestly. I think it's terrible marketing. Absolutely awful. 
But Sorry. that's, that's also on. one thing. Like they, they, they <laughs> might not want. Like content creators make the the content and the marketing and the advertisement, the advertisement for them. Maybe they don't want to get too involved with the content creators. Because what if at some point your content creator turns bad or does something Drop. else or leaves the game T- or just yeah. says a bad word on the stream or whatever? Because then you get impacted because you endorse them. True. Because you said at some point, hey, like this content creator, he's our dude. He's doing some great stuff for the game. We like this guy. We want to promote this guy. And then two streams later, he's gonna drop a racial slur or something. And then what do you what? do? Oh shit! Wait, are you implying that he fucked us? Like, wait, no, what? I what are you trying to say, here, buddy? Wait, what? I'm saying, I'm saying a general wait, example. Lana? I'm saying what? Team Fox. <laughs> Guys, don't make me say stuff I don't say. I'm just saying in general, it can happen. It might not be you. It might be another content creator. If they endorse someone and that person does something bad, it shows on them. That's okay. right. Yeah, I, I, right. I, I, that's naughty, a huge son. issue. So yeah, speaking of which, like, in that case... Like ERP, the, the fact that Entity's rating party went ERP, just that meant they would never tweet it out. Because Probably ERP, not. in people's mind, is erotic role play. <laughs> Wait, so and nobody <laughs> ain't gonna <laughs> tell you <laughs> ERP did that. It's, it's just unfortunate. No like, idea. No, that's just people having sex in Divinity's Reach. No, no, no. no, no, no. They should okay, embrace right, it. Like, right, it's just okay, part no, of the game. Do you, right. do you, think, think, do you think that the reason why down, do you think that the reason why you got 5,000 viewers is because people are like, why is ERP the highest streaming kill we're doing right now? They thought no, Tifa was herping, dude. No, no, no. Yeah. I mean, okay, all right, okay. So, so honestly, I, I actually think, okay, th- this this is my theory, okay? And for my, I actually think it was more like the, Ill- I think not. it's about the elitist rather than the ERP, right? I, I think ERP is not an intolerable acronym for, for a reading it. Right, uh, I think it was actually the elitism because I think they don't want elitism uh, in in, in their tournament. They did actually. They, that that is part of the game, isn't it? Like that's why they don't let you in, um, inspect people. But they yeah, they yeah. basically don't give you an opportunity they to see what elitism. somebody else has because they don't want you to be elitist. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. They want to be. Yeah, a bit but in an I mean, the community. elitist got more views on anything that's ever been done. Like yeah, because it's clearly a competitive event. Like, yeah, I mean, I. Even if you're a so, casual player, you can still be interested in... I mean, th- how many views did the PvP tournaments get? And I, if that's not elitist, then I don't, like... Of course so my elitist. question is, that's my question is, is Teapot, Teapot, when is the next tournament, and what are you going to call it? Well, I don't know. I, Make it family-friendly, baby. I'll tell you what, you know, it, incidentally, <laughs> it, might, it might be sooner than you think, because I'll tell you what, tell you what, chat... Okay. Ooh, now the, fir- the first ERP leaks. was the elitist raiding party. Okay, the set well, I guess it's technically the second, but whatever. Um, I am thinking of running uh, a, basically an amateur raiding party, the ARP, I guess, guys. Hey. Uh, and it will basically yep. well, the the restriction will be is that basically the guilds that were in the first one can't play, right? So well, and the players in those teams as well. No, uh, uh. So you have to. Yeah. I know, you know some people might be. Yeah, I know some people. I I, I trust them. Okay, like, they're not dickheads, right? Okay. <laughs> well, most of them. Are. Um. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Right? Sam, Sam is. So I feel like there's going to be a very different <laughs> dynamic to this, though. But like yeah. this, this is going to be a very yeah, different. That's what, I, I, I think it'll be awesome. I, I, th- I think it's really important to have something for that is a bit more um, of a well, a steep curve to get into, shall we say, right? Because if you're if you're a new rating, oh, I kind of want to compete, but then you go up against snow crows and get fucking demolished. Feels pretty bad, right? You know. Uh, I mean, you know? man, they might they might miss that feedback again. In my <laughs> hey, yeah, it's you true. Know? It's true. But like. Okay, are you actually prepared to sit there for like an hour whilst they wipe yeah. on Veil Guardian well, no, 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 every no, no, like yeah. no, no, boss? Yeah, okay, like, okay, dig okay, a okay. whole techniques, man. No, no, like no, no. people in so, no, no. what, what I say How about there's a time limit? limit? When I say there's... amateur raiding party, right? What I mean by that is is like but is basically game. everything that isn't like the most tryhard of tryhards, right? A, a, in my opinion, a even a like below average group should be able to one shot every single like, well when i say below average i mean okay so so, so put it like this okay salt guys my guild is a casual guild right there is no way out of that right and salt can very easily one shot every boss in the entire raid okay so basically a guild that is a bit more try hard than salt in other words not a casual guild can be even better and that's the kind of tournament right there. that's the kind of team that could join in that tournament right yeah okay okay yeah that'll be a lot better than that's, that's what than i was that. that's what i was talking about right yeah 
better than having to time limit it and see what the highest percentage is. Of yeah, okay, them. We're, we're, yeah. I guess that works as well. So, so basically, yeah. if, if you're gonna, if you look, listen, okay, like if you're gonna, if you're gonna join in this tournament, your guild should be able to very confidently do every boss in the game first try, um, consistently. Sold right. versus C Mesh finals and watch. Now that that will be that exciting, will okay. Benji says he wants to see a Twitch Stars one with uh, Wood Potatoes, Boots, me, Inks. You said Boots twice? Like, how do we have two Boots? Boots is that awesome. You can never <laughs> have Because you have two legs, you got two Boots. Hell yeah. Oh, God, Sam. I had to. That but is what can happen. So sooner than, sooner than you might think, right? Sooner than you might... The most elitist non-elitist guild. Exactly, Priest of See, this guy knows what I'm talking about. But yeah, so that is what's going to happen soon, and we'll, we'll see how we'll see how that goes. Hopefully people are excited in that. Um, I really enjoyed running the last one, and we'll see if we can see if we can do even better. That'll be good. Should we uh, do another giveaway before we go on to the next topic? Do you want sure. to? Good. I do. Okay. do, I have, do. do you have a well, question? Have you. Do you have a question? I don't have a question. Um, Just make it but... than the last one. <laughs> okay, so it's got to be it's got to be uh, harder to do, I guess, because uh, because they are you know there's a delay, so it has to be like you actually have to think about it. So what I'm gonna do is it's gonna be a boots related question. Ooh, <laughs> I'm out. Oh, that's, that's is that fair to new players though? Oh, I guess not. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, what's better? What's better? Um, I think to be fair, like asking like a lore question isn't really that fair either. But I don't know. Mm-hmm. 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 What is the? Oh boy. What is the only? The only class? No, that's stupid. Okay, I don't know. Why don't you? Why don't you think about it? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Give, give me five minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me five minutes. Ah, that's so good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> On so so kind of can I can can continue that and I suppose conclude that particular topic. Yeah, I, I definitely think um, it would be really good if a red net shield everything. I think it would be really good. For, I'd love to see if we could get some more, if, if we could kind of help a red net with creating tutorials and kind of getting out some knowledge, some knowledge about the game. I, but I think um, that requires work on both people's sides. In my opinion, I think, uh, I think there needs to be a lot. Oh, it, it, we need to start having these conversations if, if you want to kind of achieve that sort of result. And I don't think it will be very, very beneficial. I completely agree with, with, uh, with Joe when it comes to this, you know, I think um, uh, if, if, if arena, you know, we could get some proper hype going. You know, we can really build up the community. I think a Twitch is a really big part of. Um, I, I think Twitch is a pretty big part of supporting a game, right? Um, mm-hmm. Maybe less so with um, Guild Wars Two, because I would say the more casual player is less inclined to watch Twitch in general and watch other. They don't people even know play we games. exist. Uh, yeah, but I think it, I think it's a uh, less of a it's a less casual thing to do, in my opinion. I think that would be a pretty. No, first it's, no you're right. You're right. You're right. You're um, right. but yeah, I mean, you could yeah, obviously you can definitely attract attract people to kind of dip their toe in, right? You know, uh, uh, mm-hmm. and, and that sort of thing uh, for sure. But it, it, I think it is a big big component of it. Right? It's about building hype about the game. Obviously, it'll be really big for the new expansions, right? Um, uh, you know, for, for the. I, I think when a new, new expansion comes out, there should be like mega shilling, right? Like, cause that, that's kind of mm-hmm. where you can potentially get a proper relaunch going. Um, I, I think, you know, try and bait people like uh, Soda and Lyric and Shroud to come and play the new expansion. Even if they play for a day, even if they play for a day, that's a big deal, right? Honestly, like if, if Guild Pretty Wars much. 2 has 150K viewers on Twitch for like a day, that's still a big deal, you know? That's a big deal. Mm-hmm. Um, that's but, huge exposure. I- exactly, right? That Yeah, that's a big deal for, for, for Twitch. So even, yeah. if, even if they don't stick, it's still going to be good, right? Um, but I don't know. I think that's something that's going to be pretty, pretty good. And it's, it's not that expensive either for them to actually cover like soda popping. I think like they could pull soda popping in for like oh, a couple of hours, a couple of days. Yeah, but I mean yeah. like you can pay. You know what he did before. You know he even discussed that he's like he's been paid like I think like forty k in the past, Ooh. right? For playing a game for for a few hours. So if it's just if it's that, then in comparison to what they spend on other marketing campaigns, I think that actually they could pull in soda, they could pull in lyric, they could pull in all these big names to just try out the game. Yeah, that's it's probably going to cost them a bit, but. It's actually something that would be really, really good for the game. So I, I do agree. Not, we're really about effective. the game being free to play as these guys play it. They're gonna get people to play the core game, and then it's just a matter of getting them hooked and setting the expansion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Mm. There is also that factor. It's like you you get a big name in, but the game is free to play. It's like I feel like the big name playing, they can actually make their account and join big name as mm -hmm. players. Yeah, the game in the community is the best seller of the game once they're in it, and uh, and so you just got to get them in it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, big name like that could help, and it shows obviously it works with Theon. So okay, I got it. I got my question. You got okay. It, here we go. Here we go. All right. Uh, so, what is the full? It has to be spelt correctly. What is the full name and title altogether of the now deceased leader of the White Mantle? Oh, oh, yeah, okay. Now that, 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 that is a tricky spelling, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. No, no, the 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 one that Robert Quickie, not the one from the raid. Oh, not the one from the raid. Yeah. What? Oh, interesting. Oh, someone's getting close to it. Wait, what? The f whoa, whoa! Ah, uh, uh, there we go. Kosagi got it. Legate Minister Codicus Beetlestone the Wise. Oh my god! <laughs> god, <laughs> that's that's a lot, man. Dude. What? Jesus, that's yeah. pretty huge. It's intense. Yeah. It's intense. Congratulations, Kosage or Kosage or whatever. You win. Oh. Cossage, it's Cossage. Right. I, I, I got Bic coming in with the big words. Whoa, that yeah. was violent. Wow, Bic, Bic is fucking roasting, dude, okay? okay. <laughs> dude, let's, let's call lunch. Bic. Let's call Bic, boys, okay? That's let's pretty go. violent, um, man. I mean, <laughs> if, I, if I just turn my camera, you can see my, my girlfriend in the background. So, I mean, maybe... Oh, shit. There we go. George's Boom, girlfriend bitch. on stream? Wow. <laughs> wow, George is showing off he has a girlfriend, man. Just, man. Yeah, man. 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 That's his sister. Ooh. Oh. Oh. I mean, Big, you are the you are sick. the you are the southerner, to be fair. But uh, what? <laughs> southerner, but in it, in it, yeah. so, you know. But, I mean, I don't know. Do you think do you think they'd really have to pay people to come and play Guild Wars Two? I, I don't think that's really necessary. I, I think I, I, I don't think it's paying to play. I think it's paying to see it, like just to get it out there to remind people it exists. Well, the other thing is, do you think that Bless paid? Shroud and Soda yes. Pop and all these guys yeah, to play did, yeah. Bless. Yes. You don't pull 300k viewers on a release day without giving somebody a bit of shell. Like, I don't know. I mean, it was hype. I was surprised to see Shroud, but like, obviously Soda Pop and plays a Moe's. Um, I, I, I guess Lyric does or whatever. Um, bit less. I mean, what, what, how could Guild Wars 2 get them to play? I mean, I don't know. I mean, if they want to pay him to play, sure, whatever. If it's the same result, I guess it doesn't really matter, but. I mean, I think maybe they just advertise the release better. Plus, did that? Yeah. You know? um, I, I think advertising the release is a really big deal, especially if they're planning on launching new features. One of the idea, one of the kind of theories that I, I've had that I'm, I'm actually kind of, I don't know, maybe you guys, you guys can just shut this down, like poke all the holes you want in this, okay? But one of my big theories is that they're actually planning on saving alliances for the next expansion, and then maybe they do some kind of like really focused on like, uh, kind of like factions almost like a kind of a like a really focusing on world versus world factions battling each other and they relaunch world versus world in the next expansion actually because we know that alliances aren't coming for a while okay it hurts okay mm -hmm. it hurts me there's pain there's big pain however with that being said like wouldn't that be kind of an interesting idea because i think you know what guild wars I, i've said this on on one of my other streams actually but you know what um feature that guild wars 2 does that, um, oh, unlikely? We'll ship it when it's ready. Okay, never mind then. Okay, well, I, 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 I just been wrecked by Ben P. Fuck. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I, I'd be surprised if they did that too, because they've, they've said for a while that they're, you know, releasing on different cadences and stuff. The POF didn't have any, like, hard or World of Sword PvP stuff. Okay. So. Right, in that case, alright, Ben P, you have, to, you have to promise you something. Okay, well, actually, I guess I can't really ask you this. But please, do a massive shill. Do, the, uh, seriously, this, this is something. World versus World is... Basically, the thing that Guild Wars 2 does so much better than any other MMO by far, okay? The realm versus realm combat. When alliances come, drop the hammer, my friend, okay? Get, like, get all the griffins, okay? And put towers on them, and put them at <laughs> conventions, and there's towers, and there's arrow carts on them, hey, and yeah. crabs and shit. Okay? Uh, but also, but also, please, throw the if, if, the when it, if when it's ready is when it's ready, please let that include a... Better looking for guild function inside the game, because it's gonna need it. World versus world is gonna be entirely tied to guilds. It's gonna need some good yeah. form 
of looking for guild thing in the game. It's basically, mm -hmm. guild wars being marketed as guild wars. Like that's the occasion to go for it and uh, to just make everything right. Test it. If just, you're really good. I'll, I'll just put this out there. I, I'm I'm available to do an alliance playthrough on stream, like Wooden Potatoes did with POS. Same. If, yeah. If, yeah. If, oh, shut up, <laughs> you want to laugh a siege? Hell yeah! Hell player. yeah, dude. Okay, I'm okay. I you know how someone made an incinerator? Okay, someone make me a bifrost, and I'll lead everyone into combat. Okay, we can we can meet up somewhere with we can. I'll bring. All, okay, I'll tell you what. You want to know something scary, Ben? Let's go. Okay. You guys want to do this? You want to do this? Uh, the, we're going to LARP a siege. I'm going to craft myself a Bifrost, okay? I'll get like a cat head, some cat ears or something, pretend to be a char, okay? And we'll run into battle, okay? Let's go. Let's do it, okay? I'm down. But yeah, let, let's, okay, because trust me, okay? The community will be behind alliances. We're going to shill it really hard, okay? We make Guild Wars 2 great again. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Alliance, World vs. World is glorious in this game. Thanks to the glorious combat system that makes games, other MMOs look funny. Um... Yeah, so just let's get some value. Let's squeeze that value out of this, guys. Okay, I'm very excited for alliances. Let's make sure it actually turns into a massive shill. Okay, let's go. No ERP, guys. We're not ERP. All on Ben. All right. By the way, all on Ben. Yeah, that's all on yeah. him. Yeah. yeah. He, he is mm -hmm. the only dev the only dev who can manipulate this. But yeah, okay. Don't don't do not. I thought Ben was the only the, in it developer to be honest. Don't bother the devs, guys. Okay, but you know, it's ben, a one -man honestly, team, yeah. honestly, big uh, big shout out to our boy. Arena Ben, okay? He's always, yeah. honestly, he's always chilling in the streams, subs to the streams, subs to angels, okay? So he can, you know, afford his anger management classes, okay? It's good <laughs> shit, okay? It's good, all right? You just, you're saying this so that he'll come back and watch you, isn't it? That's, that's why you're doing that. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you know, he already left you. He said he was leaving you for, but for from, angels, and he yeah, did, I, I, and he subbed to angels. He did. He subbed to angels. <laughs> and you're still, yeah. come on, man. Yeah, you know, he's I a good guy. Like I think you heard you. Joe, you can't buy me for $5, buddy. Uh, you know? <laughs> Wait, what? Are you, are I thought sure? if I subbed you, you sure I owned that? you. No, Isn't that how, like, that, being that, a Twitch sub No, works? the $25 sub zone him. Yeah. Oh. Uh, no, uh, no I, I answer only the topic EU, actually. Did you, you see that fucking uh, bit badge, man? That, yeah, you see man. see that shit? Okay? That's the only person <laughs> I answer to, okay? Right. Look at the $25 no. subs, man. Okay, look at that beautiful teapot sellout emote. That's a quality thing, dude. Okay, look at that. Mmm. That is Very beautiful. Good. I'm never donating another cent to this stream. Whoa. <laughs> wow. That's violent. Wow. Big words. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. Time to kick Roy from this call then. See yeah. you later, buddy. <laughs> uh, he only cares about topic. Feels <laughs> bad, man. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. Well, yeah, we're going to role play as a trebuchet, role play as a golem. You know? Oh, dude. Wait, someone's done a golem cosplay. Wait, someone did a golem really? cosplay, right? Are you serious? I think so, right? Uh, mm -hmm. hang on. I think, think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that one. Oh yeah. wait. Okay. Oh no, no. It wasn't a. It wasn't a. It wasn't a, a siege golem. It was like um an Azura, oh. just an Azura golem. I think. Yeah. Oh, cares. Yeah. Okay. If it ain't <laughs> if it ain't Omega, then just if it ain't, yeah, it's not an Omega golem. Then I don't know, dude. Like get get the hell out of here with that. Okay, just get out of here. There is a timey cosplay. Okay. Wait. Okay. Hey. Um, yeah, let's let's not do that. Anyway, okay. Do you have anything else to talk about? So so let's, let's bring something to the table, guys. Okay. Let's go. Okay, what have we got going on? Are we done flaming the game? Give us something to flame, chat, okay? We need to, we need to roast something. Oh, yeah. Do we want to just chat? You have There's like 600 chat. odd people in the, in the stream, right? I'm assuming not all of them are people that actually know what the game is and maybe they're That's here trying to find out some information. So, like, yeah. maybe if there was like actually some new questions from new people Quite that maybe we could like questions. answer and discuss, maybe. Yeah, mm. yeah we can do that. You get, the you've first got, like, what, time you've got questions period works. I mean, you've got like ex like amazing PVE knowledge. I've got yep. I've got some structured PVP knowledge. Uh -huh. You know, we've got world v world knowledge, GVG knowledge. Yep. Like we can Where? we can discuss. Does Sam stuff. does Sam do world vs world? No, 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 no. That's that's you. No, I don't. No, I mean, you do GVG. No, I, that's I that's a world vs world sub game well, mode. Like the new Fine. player Brobo Photo just asked. Uh, uh, <laughs> bless it. online. It sounds like market get... manipulation knowledge and uh, Boots has no, no, that's uh, Boots has bad build knowledge. You know, it's good. It's good. General array of bad knowledge. Yeah. Anyway, uh, well, I guess there aren't, there's not many, uh, not many, not many, not many questions going on. Someone wants to know about How mesmer and what's going on. What is up with wooden potatoes? He didn't know about this, or he is angry with one of you? <laughs> uh, well, here's the thing. You see, wooden potatoes will refuse to be in a Skype call with Boots, okay? It's a really big thing. 
they have big beef, right? They Real were lovers once. Beef. They were lovers oh, once, yeah. and then Boots posted his picture online, and it was. Oh my god! Yeah, Boots leaked their sex tape, dude. It was it, the the fallout was. He posted to the Guild Wars 2 Reddit, dude. Seriously, he just went deep. Right? <laughs> and random user, random user pinned it. Yeah. <laughs> Why so, haven't a bunch of ArenaNet partners sat down and spoken to ArenaNet to discuss the best move forward and teach about how I other mean, games? I know we Twitch. haven't. It's expensive to go to the states, man. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> we, we could, I mean, we're in a Discord, but we never use it to actually. I don't know how much I can actually say. Actually, I'm under yeah, NDA you're not really, about that you're whole not really thing. Supposed to talk, yeah. I can mention it exists, but uh, uh, just, just stop talking, John. Let's, uh, let's just I don't know what you're you talking about. I, uh, what, Wait, the stream is coming. <clears throat> <up. throat> I see. Uh, I see. Just got kicked. <laughs> yep. Okay. I, I would go. I would go read the NBA. Button. This is my <laughs> first time. Has kick left it. us. I told you, dude. You're on tea time now. Now you're on a watch list, dude. You're done. Uh, That's right. it. It's over. You know. It's you know, over. You know that um that arena partner with the square brackets you like in your title. You better get ready to change that one, buddy. You, you, you gotta you, you gotta do, shut that down. Okay. There's like a little asterisk next to it, and like in your good, section, I'm be like, good, I I'm was good. arena partner. I'm good. Yeah. Pending. Yeah, it's okay. I just, no, I think no they one besides Ben watches methods it. communication. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. Like they have methods of communication with us, but they don't use it actively enough to actually tell us about things they're planning. Or what they, you know, what they could be doing. They don't actually question us as if we have any idea about how the the Twitch community works. We have like a lot of actual input to give, well, but they don't actually speak. Well, to Well, because us. they gotta be, they gotta be pretty careful, Once right? Because well, they can't tell us upcoming stuff. Because there was a period of time where there were like there were leaks all the time, and and they weren't sure where it was coming from. So like they they. They they're not allowed to tell us stuff, so we don't we don't know as much. We know it basically as much as everybody else. Well, the the, tr the truth is okay. I'm pretty sure this is this is very. I think this is common knowledge. I'm almost certain I'm allowed to say this. Okay, but it used to be the case that partners would get early information, right? Okay, this is very well known. And how can I say this is very well known? Is because literally like an hour after the release, you would see like playthrough videos get launched, fucking guides and uh, uh, guides on the stuff that had just happened, right? That had been pre-recorded, pre-edited, stuff like that. So this was this was pretty well known that this was the case, right? Okay, like as it stands, you know, no shit. Okay, um, uh, the, the, that's uh, that's just not the case, right? Uh, not the case anymore. So yeah, arena partners don't get uh, don't get spice, don't get leaks. Okay, that's the thing. I'm pretty sure that's I mean, pretty common knowledge, though. Well, we so. don't really need pre-release content. It, it, it's it's more about like them saying, "Oh, so how do you feel about?" Or, or, okay, maybe maybe it is kind of like it's it's hidden information. Like if they were, you know, maybe going to do something with marketing, and they they thought, "Oh, well, we'll tell them about this idea." Maybe that would then be, you know, maybe leaked or whatever. It, but it's not really something that I think could be leaked. It would just be like things like, "Oh, what's your opinion on?" on, I, I don't know, this method going forward? Or should we try this? Do you think that this is like something you want to see more of in us, you know, promoting your content or something? We don't really get questions, you know? And that, that's what I want. I want more interaction with ArenaNet, not just them promoting my content. I want them to treat me like I have an opinion of the game as a content creator, you know? Yeah. Like I, I want them to approach me as if I actually have a brain because I do, you know, I have, I somehow have like a really good idea of their marketing and they don't. You know, there's well, there's a lot of things they could approach me on. Malfurion just wrote. I mean, obviously, I suppose you know we're all, we're all arena partners are you know content creators, right? And that's fine. But what makes our opinions necessarily more valuable or correct than someone who isn't a partner? You know what I mean? Like it's just that's it's that's not what the, the forums and and Reddit's are supposed to be for. That's where they get their feedback. That's where they get their ideas and suggestions and everything. But there's that's a reason fair. why people become arena net partners. There's, there's a reason why there's an application process. There's a reason why they don't just well, like invite everybody yeah, into and, it. So but that's not they... that's not it. That's not the reason. That's not the reason. And no. Yes, yeah, it's not I because our opinions are more valid. I can't, than I can't really. Opinion. I can't. You know, we can't really go over. It, but no, I'm not. I'm not, that's, I'm not that's claiming that. I, I'm, not, I'm not claiming. I'm I just understand. saying that we we have we have like eyes on the community. We speak to people within the community every single day. We get comments from I'm like not... hundreds and hundreds of people. So it's like. It's not that we're better, it's that we might have a better, like, envisionment of what is actually being no, no, no. said. John, I'm so not saying you're wrong. In fact, I almost agree with you because, like, t I, for instance, I feel like I'm probably, I have more of a grasp on a lot, at least the World vs. World community, not necessarily PvP, than a lot of people do, right? So, like, I might have a better understanding of what could be done to World vs. World or GVG, whatever. But 
even if that's the case, they ArenaNet can't really say, "Oh, we're just going to get all our information from him." Because obviously, I'm going to be biased. You know, I'm like, I maybe I want more fights, right? You, you but would push not your 50 percent agenda yeah, forward. Exactly, my GVG yeah. agenda. Yeah. Well, soon, soon, if you're not fighting, you instantly get kicked out of World of Sports. You know, so it's like, <laughs> even even if even if you're right, even if we might have more connections to the community, we have a better understanding than a lot of different players. Our opinions aren't necessarily, you know. Like they can't, they can't, they can't just pick and choose this, you know, they have to. And I think I I would, I would like to see them take more player feedback in general. I don't think they Mm -hmm. take enough player feedback, um, but I don't think it should be done just through the partners. I, I just yeah. think it, it would be an opportunity to do it without obviously sure, getting a flood sure. of like 300,000 people responding. It's just like, it's a, it's a small, like, I don't know, a very small group of people they can ask like a, a small, you know, a little opinion on. Like, it, it doesn't mean That's that fair. they're going to follow through with that, but it is something that is isolated that they don't have to express to the whole yeah. public. It's just a thought process. They might have, a, you know, it, it, I'm not saying that we, what we're worth more. It's definitely not what I was like implying or anything. So. And, but that's fair. Like, yeah, we are a slice of the population and a small slice that they could manage. So that is, that is a good yeah. point. In, in my opinion, I, I don't think it should be necessarily limited to partners though. In my opinion, they, um, yeah. the, the best way to go about this sort of thing is actually to talk to experts well, within a certain game mode, right? For that's... example, if you wanted to talk about, uh, PVP, right? Uh, you could talk to the guys on Team USA, and you could talk to Rank Fifty Five. You hell, honestly, in my, in my opinion, I, I've um, I was thinking about suggesting this even. You could talk to the guys who are like top fifty on the ladder on both servers, right? In my opinion, they might have a lot of money, you, 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 but know. they they did they essentially no, no, do no, this. No, didn't no, they? no, but no, but listen, listen, okay? Don't 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 like let's not quibble over the quibble over the specifics, right? Like you know what I'm trying to say with sure, how they sure, should select sure. here, right? Like you know, what, they, right? Okay, no, no. no Everyone's like putting Lul in the chat, but like, come on, like, y- you know what I'm trying to say. Like, don't, don't, um, don't nitpick me, right? Um, there's, but, there's, there's no real They did do this, though. They did do this with raiding, for example. They invited um, they also... really good guilds to test out the raids beforehand, and that's that's essentially what they're they're asking right. for the advice of the people to work on the raids. So, so I... it's possible that they're just not at a stage in PvP or World versus World where they feel like they need the input from the community at right now or in, well, i have, I have two things to say one as far as inviting people to like test stuff right like you said they invited the guilds to test the raids or whatever um i don't know how much feedback they actually used from that but like when they did it with edge of the mists and when they did it with desert borderland and i i uh, mentioned those two things obviously both were the because i don't really know i don't have experience with the other things they didn't really take any of the feedback that they got from there I mean, there were a lot of people that told them the very specific flaws with Desert Borderland, and they didn't really use any of it. Very um, different circumstances, Nike though. just answered okay. in the chat for you. Sure. Nike just answered in the uh, chat, like, for the rate testing part, at least. Okay, great. Uh, great. That's great. Um, and then the second thing, what Teapot was saying, as far as um, having, like, more, like, expert opinions, didn't they try to do that at one point, like, the forum specialists? I don't uh, yeah. remember that. But that, that was... That was not good. Like the forum specialist for the the dungeon fractals and raid subforum, like they already merged like these three together. And the guy who was at the head of it was the guy who was there for a while, but tried to represent uh, a general opinion that is not the opinion of the people who actively play the game modes. So that wouldn't work. Like a, an opinion of someone who just started out in a game mode is going to be, we're going to say bad, but we don't mean to say bad. It's like, non it's not complete it's lacking he has played for not long enough to see what actually misses in game mode mm. and wasn't Why? also but for, for the for that borderland release it was like all basically right before the borderland release wasn't it it was um so it was a few months it, i think i don't it? remember exactly to be honest i i think it was it I feels think it was, like no, it was things were already months. pretty set in stone before yeah feedback was I mean, maybe I, I couldn't tell you. I wasn't part of it. But. Well, that, that's the thing, right? I mean, not well. It, not only did they select quite poorly. I mean, for fuck's sake, I was in that. I didn't even play World vs. World at the time for the Desert Borderline thing. But also, like, you know, feedback is one thing, right? But the important thing is also acting on feedback, right? Right. Yeah. That's I, what I, 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 th- I think the most prominent example of this is, of course, everybody's favorite PvP mode, uh, Stronghold. Right, they added oh my God. they added this brand new game mode. Okay, and there was a lot of feedback. In fact, I personally, uh, with with my guild, did a lot of feedback uh, uh, to, towards this. Actually, did something like that. Um, and there was a lot of feedback from the from the community. Like even even the pro players, kind of, they kind of shout on it, right? Uh, but the the trouble is that they that nothing changed. I mean, they added a treb, I think, uh, and that's it, 
You Brian? can summon heroes. Yeah, so it, it's yeah. kind of like, yeah, yeah. You, you know, you you actually have to, you, you, things have to change. Like maybe they they um, just realize like, nah, okay, actually we don't want to go in this. And I, honestly, I respect that. If they create a gamer and they go, nah, this is fucking dead, dude. This is this ain't happening, right? I respect that. Um, you don't have to, but like, it would have been nice to have some communication on that, right? Um, mm. But uh, yeah. Oh, also thanks, Squid nine nine seven five hundred purple diamonds. What a fucking I, god. I will <laughs> say that, like, so. For instance, like Raymond and Ben, and I don't want to like expose them too much or something, but like Ooh. I mean, I've I've talked to them a bit, right? And they definitely, and I'm sure there's a lot of other devs that will do the exact same thing for PV and stuff. I mean, we used to have Paul and the other the other Ben. Um, they definitely listen to feedback, and they definitely take mm -hmm. it into consideration very very directly. I just I don't know how much influence that has on the rest of the you know, and maybe there's more than maybe it's more than I know, but like there are definitely some developers that do talk to the players directly and stuff and and talk mm -hmm. about things within the game and whatnot and they definitely take it into consideration and listen to that feedback well they have collective like meetings and stuff so uh -huh. I, I mean even even ben said to me that like he can bring things up in meetings that i've suggested to him so it's like it is interesting that you know with ben hanging around in all of the uh, anet bnp um with him hanging around in all of the streams, like PvP, PvE, collecting the opinions of like the many. It's not just what the stream is saying, but it's what people are saying in chat as well. And Ben actually like he responds to what I say, but he'll also respond to questions that people put in the chat. So if he actually listens and like you know maybe even just notes things down, I, I think even sometimes he does it at work. Like if he actually is about to go into a meeting about something and then somebody by chance mentions it it could translate back into a change or at least it could, you know, trigger a chain of events that could turn into something positive. So I actually think that, you know, the the work that they do with the devs actually getting involved with the community is really, really good, like really strong. And I think that like moving forward, ArenaNet should try to interact with us and with the community more because they definitely are able to shape, you know, what we find broken or what we find like negative and turn it into mm. something positive. Instead of like hunting through figures and statistics, they have like community opinion at their, their doorstep. They're just not really utilizing it. And obviously with Ben doing what he's doing is great because Ben is actually utilizing what we give. So, you know, I, I think that, yeah, like 100%, I agree with you. I think the more dev interaction with the community, the better in general. Obviously, they don't want to get, you know, not every single dev has to, you know, interact with the community. But I think, mm -hmm. I think in general, the better. Um, yeah. I think one of the reasons why raids are so good is because they got in really early before they started making raids and did a huge uh, did a huge thing with the community. The community uh, gave ideas. They basically formed all the ideas through the community before starting to design things. And then through every step, I think, there was community involvement. So, yeah. Mm. <coughs> well, so, uh, well, I don't know. There's also, I mean, with raids, there's still a lot of kind of game-breaking bugs, though, on some of the bosses. But that's a completely different situation, though. That's, like, that's... They're not related to each other. Game, like, the the core game... The, the, the way the game plays is different from bugs in the game. Yes, <laughs> yes. I mean, yes, they should probably take more bug reports and do them as quickly as possible and fix them as quickly as possible, but that I think that's a different situation from... Uh, that's a different, like, discussion entirely. Yeah, I mean, that's true, but it kind of seems like sometimes things get kind of plopped into the game and just left there, right? It's kind mm. of like, well, you know, here it is, Dungeon. content, right? And then they move on to something else, and they don't fix go back to it, when yeah. things go wrong, right? They uh, fixed dungeons in the last patch. Yeah, yeah, no, this is funny, actually. I, I heard, I don't know exactly what happened, but yeah, apparently, what, what actually happened, Sam? What, what actually happened there? What They changed, like, the how spiders aggro or something, right, in, in a raw, I think? Or like certain NPCs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was, it was yeah, like the spiders. weirdest out of nowhere like patch. They just like updated two dungeon paths or something. Like, yeah, that it is, was so weird. That is is that so like weird. a long time coming though? I mean, maybe I don't know maybe it's a hint. Dungeons, maybe maybe but... we're gonna see a dungeon overhaul. I honestly would love a dungeon overhaul. I would I, like that. Yeah. I mm. here's the thing, like, a lot, and especially with so many new players, I think the dungeons are great content for new players. But now, like, they're not. I mean, I guess the, if you do it for the first time, like, maybe it's okay, but. You're not gonna. It's not gonna be the same experience. And I, I still, I would like to play Dungeons now myself. You know, I just, I don't know. I just don't. Well, whatever. That's a well, what is lacking but, yeah. from the the way Dungeons are right now that makes it not want. Is it just the rewards right now that? Uh, I mean, I don't really. No. I mean, the, I think the, the rewards, the rewards are still the accessibility. Very yeah, it's the. They're accessibility just like a joke. The content. 
No, like, I mean, really you, can, you can clear them very easily with the current specs. It's yeah. more like if you want to get into dungeons and do them more than once and start being efficient on it, you're going to have to put effort yeah. into it. You're going to want to get a team that can run them. You're going to want to... The, the way I think of dungeons... People don't want to do that anymore. Because yeah, yeah the way I think of dungeons, dungeons though, I, I, it starts at level 30, it finishes at level 80, and you could do the explorables at any level after that. Uh, but I, I feel like dungeons, and I think the way they're leaving dungeons, is as the new player's introduction to five-man instance content. It's it's you you get better at five man content through dungeons, and then you leave it behind. It's good to play it once, twice, three times, lady. But you after that you move on to fractals and you move on to raids. I think that's what they want dungeons to be. It seems. I think they're literally a tutorial. They're a yeah. tutorial system. Exactly. Because you, you don't really I know find, about like break bars and stuff be before complex. then. I think that some dungeons are more complex than than the raids. Yeah, that, that's they're definitely they definitely have more kind of puzzle aspects or kind of um, yeah. More complexity to him, but I, honestly, I, I think you guys are a lot optimistic. I kind of think um, that uh, Arena Net want to just shuffle dungeons away. Oh, I, I don't. I don't. Uh, think they, no, I was. I was. Yeah. I, I, just, <laughs> I, I said I wish. I mean, they we, would, we got some pretty them, good wishful but, thinking out there. Yeah. Um, spe- no, all right. Uh, so speaking of this, yeah. sort of going on this, this sort of track, what do you think is is the next? Obviously, we're a lot of people are assuming they're gonna reveal something at E3 or at least in the next couple weeks. No, they, put something they out. said they wouldn't. They've already said they won't. Oh, they did? Oh, okay, I must have missed that. Yeah, that's right. what so they what said you, at, at the start. Like, like, they tweeted that they wouldn't. I don't listen to what you say. So what do you think would be like the next sort of things that they're going <laughs> to that, that they're gonna bring out and release and stuff and talk about? Triple release. And when? But when? June 12th. Probably. Actually, honestly... Didn't it, they it, say it, June 12th? It anyway. might be, it, honestly, it might be the 19th. because So J- June 12th is E3, right? And if yeah. they release a patch on E3, they're probably going to be understaffed to deal with like the fucked bugs that appear, right, uh, on release. Uh, and true, so, true. So I would probably say we're probably looking at 19th at this point, not really? the 12th. Yeah, I think I think it probably won't be announced on this Tuesday. It might be announced this Tuesday. Okay, they made the- that post saying that it's going to be a little bit longer. It's not going to follow the three-month cadence. The June twelfth is already outside of the three-month cadence, so it, it they could still be June twelfth, and that that uh, publicity release makes sense. But I, I think they, I think it's got to be June twelfth in that way. Although they did say also that at E three, it's only going to be some meetings with some uh, with some partners, possible yeah. par- partners. So it's not like they're going to be saying, "Hey, look, everybody, we just released a new thing. E3, join us." It's going to—it's more private conversations, as I understand it, at E3. So maybe they don't even need to release it before E3, so that they have something to show. Yeah, I, right, well, I mean, yeah. I mean, I see in the chat. By the way, I'm just—I'm just going to like move on a little bit. I see that people are talking about the way that the internet handles the money. The staff, the teams, etc. Just if you're if you're curious about stuff like that, just go to the websites where there are company reviews. Like some are and the devs actually talk about how it's going on. And it's mostly the management has an agenda. The devs have a lot of potential. They're all highly skilled people, and they get told to work on something, but they're already working on something. And the energy that they could put towards finishing what they're what they're making, testing it, and shipping something good and in time gets moved on to helping out another team on another project. It's going to like take precedence on it and in the end they're like slow on everything because they fan out on too much content at once it's also the reason why we're not having stuff that comes out regularly is because there is no directing line in what they're doing at the moment are you sure it says are you sure reviews. that's what people say in the company reviews like people who work there write down yeah the issue that i have with the company is that we all have potential but we get put on tasks that are in between what we should be doing right so, so, they, so they lose they lose time on it do you not think that's because like they don't feel that they have enough money to staff what their actual output is intended I, to be it's probably like they're stacking projects on on people so they're like oh well you know you need this long-term project but actually we need this short-term event as well that you need to work on and then they, could be they that get as caught well. up yeah could be that it's as probably, well it's probably that because they, they are a relatively small company in the grand scheme of things relatively um, small they got like 400 people though yeah but i mean if you compare them to other mmo companies other, oh, yeah, other yeah, long-term yeah. Like mmo yeah. companies yeah okay that's they are so, small yeah. but at the uh, same time i feel like they need that 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 interrelation between the different groups that develop things because the game is so 
uh, tied together. Like everything affects everything. And, and if you don't have people who work on more than one specific thing, then it'll be out of place. I don't know. I don't know how to, how to describe what I'm trying to say, but you mean uh, like consistency and projects. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. I there mean, needs to like, be a especially lot of... with designers, I guess, because obviously you want to have a specific like design style and stuff throughout the maps. They have to com like conform to whatever the, the game norm is. So mm -hmm. that would make sense. Um, I don't know. I I feel like maybe they maybe they don't have to have their eggs all in one basket. Like maybe they're trying too hard to release extra content. Like maybe they're putting a lot of effort into skins and stuff when actually they should be switching between skins and content. Like maybe they should have periods of time where they they don't release as many skins or they, they do it well, less don't, often. Don't they have separate teams for that though? I don't think I. No, they I, have separate. I, teams I mean, for I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. I just don't yeah, see that. I don't see there as much of an overlap between a developer who's working on living story content. Or a raid to someone who's uh, like modeling a mount skin or something. But then, yeah. But do you not think the people that model the mount skins are the same people that model the characters, that model the boss design, that model like particle effects? Maybe and around def bosses. That's definitely true. But uh, I, I feel like it. it sh I mean, I would just divide them into different teams. Rather, I don't know. I mean, obviously, I, I uh, commenting about this sort of stuff is kind of weird. Like, it, it, it would seem to me that they would have separate teams this because they have described a mm -hmm. gem store team uh, who kind of work almost in parallel. For example, stuff like the um, the Zera. Okay, so the, so the, the Zera mask, right? So the yeah, Zera yeah. mask is a thing um, from Wing 3. Okay. Yeah, it's difficult to assume. I, I don't really like to comment about this stuff because I don't really want to assume about how Arena's inner structure works. Like, I'm, I'm sure it's, mm -hmm. it, it's, I'm sure it's a very complicated spaghetti, right? Um, <laughs> as, as all companies Agreed. are, as all companies are, right, guys? Um, but there was a Zera mask, and that was supposed to be a drop in the raid. However, the raid team did not have time to finish it, right? Or they didn't have the resources, right? So instead, it still made it into the game, but as a gem store item, right? So it, it seems like these teams don't really interfere with each other, but they can kind of help each other. So the only reason people even had the Zera mask from Wing 3 is because of the gem store team uh, having the resources to put some stuff into it, right? Mm, that's cool. So that's, that's kind of a thing. Wait, uh... uh uh, 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 ping me on uh, Discord. I can't see that, uh, Sam. Whatever you're trying to talk to me. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter that much, anyways. But okay. hello to Peon, by the way. Yes, Peon. yeah, that's yeah. exactly what I said. We yeah. have Peon in the extra in spot chat. in this chat. game if he wants to join. He's in the chat, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. There is, there's a space he, just no, beneath take, me there, Peon, if you spot. want to come yeah, down. Uh, there, there's a spot out there. Th these, <laughs> honestly, I, I do apologize for. My my co-host being absolute leeches. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, you know what? I'd like to state. Right now, I will never leech off PN. I leech perfectly fine off Teapot as is. I'm more than happy doing that. That's, that's all I need. All right. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I would like to pick Peon's brain for his like his opinion regarding the game after like a few days of playing it and things like that. I mean, that obviously it'd be a little I bit hard to pull I mean, him I in right now, but we Peon could. If he'd play Bless with me, but. <laughs> <laughs> On, but, uh, I don't, uh, you don't have to do it, Peon. You yeah, can just hang yeah, around. But we're not, guys, we're not gonna. We're not gonna well, it's not leeching though. It's, like, it's a community <laughs> thing. Just, it's, it's, I, actually, I'm curious about what he thinks about the game. This is this is a Play podcast. The game and hide that... the game. This is the moment where we realize what a new player who just came in and hide the game thinks about it a few days in. Mm. This, this oh, is here's a good to see here's what he thing. thinks about it. Yeah. Keon, do you have any new player questions for us that we could answer for you? Yeah. Does anybody <laughs> have any new player questions? All right, not just sure. Keon Boots, you leech god. <laughs> we already oh tried god. this earlier, and all we got was fucking memes. Yeah, we got uh, Boots, yeah, we you, you can offer it. Peon a gem giveaway now, Boots? My god. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not, no more gem giveaway, guys. I just, I, no I, I probably just made. I probably just made the viewership drop by 300, but no more gems. Sorry, guys, I'm done. Oh my god! It's, it's okay. Yeah. Teapot has some as well. Yeah, I, I I have quite a lot of gems actually. I do have quite a lot of oh, gems. There we go. Yeah, I actually do. How but... do you have so many? Partner, to think I, to think I buy keys. Yeah, it, it, he, yeah you do buy me Sponsored keys. by ArenaNet, by the way. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 But anyway, okay. How do I burning retreat forward? Now that that is a good question. Dude. You can go we watch. We also want to do that in Mystic Builds. Dude, watch watch Mystic Builds. Watch Mystic Builds. You can see it. Uh, but I mean, uh, wait. 
so yeah. So it's, to, to kind of kind of bring it back to reality, uh, what do you guys um, expect for the for the new release? Do you think I'm right? Is it going to be the 12th or the 19th? I think honestly, some of the guys in chat did kind of convince me actually because they're like, ah, you know, is it really the same devs going there? I and mean, maybe some of them, but I guess not all of them. If it's, if it's probably more, not. If it, as I understand it, it's kind of business meeting. So surely it will be kind of the yeah. um, the well, the business related stuff. Not the actual yeah. game though. So maybe they you maybe, don't you maybe don't I'm need Mike O'Brien. You don't need Mike O'Brien to fix bugs in the patch. Mm. Yeah, uh, maybe you do. You don't know. Yeah, I would so say maybe, twelve to be fair. Twelve. I I I really I really hope it's a twelve because I am I am well, thirsty for a triple release big boy you, content I, patch. I you were saying the other do you day not you don't think like triple release. What? Wait, what? I well, I, I want to raid in a new wing. I mean, I don't. I, I don't really. And triple release, I think, is is real. I no, I love triple release, man. I love any kind of content, but I don't think triple release is a particularly good idea. It's not the best. I, I think it's better. Do you think to they'll overlap them, them, like at all? I know. I think. Like, I mean, you've got you've got rank PVP that's coming out on the twelfth as well. Then there's the living story as well that's due. Then there's the new raid wing as well. So like, what well, these the three you're thinking that they're going to release like no, simultaneously? No, no, no. I feel, I feel like, like this is rank PVP isn't a release, man. Yeah, it, it is, happens. man. It's the new season. I'm playing that shit all day. I don't want to play living story while that's coming out. I've got I mean, to what, what, what I mean is that what I mean is that it just happens. You know, like they, they don't make it a big boy release. Like is when this? there is a new rank season, there is a new rank season. I mean, I'm waiting for it as well. I played PVP all evening long. Is this the best possible time for Bless Online to have failed and for Lazy Pion to have had that video Dude, for Guild Wars 2 I, two weeks before a triple release I mean, and E3? Sick, the t- I literally it's, wrote it's, the it's Illuminati. Illuminati. Fucking ArenaNet is <laughs> they knew. ArenaNet knew and they planned this shit with the Illum- They They're Chrono Monsters in real life, They went in time and they changed everything. But yeah, well, to, to, yeah. Well, that, that, I think it will be a triple release. Um, I think that's I mean, it has to be at this point. And yeah, they'll they'll do PvP season, raid, fractal, and story, and they'll drop it all in the same day. I'm I'm almost certain about that. Actually, I think it's very likely. Explain what a triple release is yeah. for noobs. A uh, triple release is when uh, you have at the same time as the usual two to three month release of a living world episode, living story episode, which is a uh, PVE content. You'll also have uh, bundled in with that a raid release and possibly a fractal release. So three different things releasing at the same time. And uh, also in this case, it would also be the season of PVP. So it'd be a quadruple release in a way. <laughs> See, ranked PVP is released. Quadruple yeah, that's fair release. Enough. If they, I don't think that they might not. They probably won't bundle Swiss in with that as well. But then it would be a quadruple release. So there you go. Boom. Boom. Uh, Swiss is ages away. Swiss is months away. Oh. Months and months. Months. Four releases, one stream. You want to see, guys? You want to see a real release? you want to go check out Bick the Snake? Okay. I just baited him into starting release streams again, guys. Okay. I mean, honestly, if you guys don't even know what I mean by that, go watch Bick. Okay. You'll find out what releasing is. Okay. You just ask him to release to start releasing. Right. <laughs> Have you seen that, Joel? Have you seen Bic release? Uh, <laughs> I think Roy has. I actually have not. Wait, I really need. Oh, I probably haven't seen, 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 seen the release. I haven't, seen him, I haven't seen him live. I haven't seen him live, but I've seen the clip. Okay, you've seen the clip. Okay, there you go. It's, it's pretty. It's if you really... haven't seen it, you need to. It's. it's Are we not putting this in a in a gachi context, or is it just me? Wait. Well, uh, well, I mean, it is. It, it's. A, I yeah, mean, it could be considered. Uh, someone link a clip for Jordy. Like, we need to show him like the release, the release streams. Dude. Okay, we need to show him that release. But anyway, uh, yeah. So that's what the triple release is. I think it's almost something to happen on the twelfth or the nineteenth. Boom, easy content. And yes, I think it's really good because I think it's really honestly. I think a triple release in this exact context is really good because it is a huge. It's a big drop for all the uh, people running away from other MMOs. So honestly, it's like Puppet Master. Um, future seeing God Arena Net who have figured out that you know omniscient Arena Net who have figured out the truth here, okay? But I think in mm. in other situations, it's in my opinion, I think it's better to kind of stagger the content. But um, I don't know, man. I, I remember two weeks ago you were like triple release, not so great. I want my raids right now, but right now it's looking pretty damn good. Yeah, because because other but, things that, but that's still happened. an issue. That, that's the truth. That's the truth. Like if they're if they have content that is ready to be shipped and they're waiting for another piece of content before shipping it, they're not doing it right. When yeah. something yeah. is ready and we're waiting, they should give us something, something to munch on. Like it, it's fine if not everything is released at the same mm-hmm. time. Just give us but, something. It's it really just sounds well, like though. it was like go on, carry on. It, it just sounds like it was kismet in this case. Like it, it probably, I think they keep on saying they don't hold back on content these days. They they release it when it's ready. So in this case, we're just very very lucky for internet. 
but like for, for the influx of new players, like giving them all this content, I don't think that's actually beneficial to that player base that's just come in because they're still going to be figuring out how to make ascended gear, like what fractals even are. Like even if there's a new fractal, chances are it's going to be like level one hundred one or whatever. And it's or, further beneficial to arena net, not necessarily the new players, because it shows the new players that hey, this is coming out. You need this expansion okay, for okay, it. Okay, agreed, agreed. Yeah, okay. Because yeah. obviously, then it also shows that they release free content, you know, tied into the expansion. So exactly. yeah, okay, it, it, it is more of a like there is marketing there. I was like, yeah, okay, 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 I'm with you. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah and that's a, uh, no, that's a, it's a big deal. It's a big deal to make sure that the game looks like uh, it's alive. And honestly, a three month release schedule is going to be very impressive to people from most MMOs anyway. Right, uh, I think um, the the pacing is honestly pretty strong. I think uh, I think two to three months is actually pretty is pre pretty strong, especially considering what they actually deliver on. I think it's quality content. Okay, so that's hmm, it's pretty impressive. Stuff. The Shattered Observatory was fucking beautiful. I'm just yeah, saying like, that that well, zone when it first came out, I was like actually like I want to play Fractals because this zone is like fucking amazing. Like it, you yeah. wanted to get into it because it looked cool. And, uh, and the, the challenge mode was really really impressive as well. Actually. It's, oh yeah, yeah yeah agreed agreed. Really really impressive. I think when they the the 99 cm and 100 cm is some of the best content in the entire game. Actually, it's uh, really uh, really well executed stuff. Right. It's. Uh, can you still can you still buy the uh, observatory pass for the the zone like the the uh, the, the mislock observatory yeah. pass yeah yeah well I don't think you can buy it right now but it occasion it will occasionally go back on sale right when okay there's my tip for you guys if it ever comes back on sale get it it's the best one yeah it's uh it's quick quick access to everything you need and it yeah. looks nice you got to get some of those passes they're pretty uh, pretty big value I had something I was gonna say. Now I've forgotten. Now I'm actually really sad. I'm watching the release. God fucking damn it, dude. What release? It's in the release stream? The release. Yeah? What are I'm you, watching what are the release, release clip. Give us a live reaction. What are you, how are you feeling? Well, I mean, my face says it all, doesn't it? I think so. Yeah, like, you're you're hurting from the inside. That's what I see. The, the yeah, flash okay. of light in your eyes also says a lot. Yeah. It's just the... Yeah. Oh! <laughs> it's powerful. It's what powerful. do you mean like this? Like, what? I know what I, I was going to What are you going to do with it? I know. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Thank God he said, I've got to put it over my face or something. Oh, but then yeah. he rubbed it on oh, his head. Yeah, yeah. Like, I oh, thought he yeah. was going to, like, dab it on his face. And, like, it's beautiful. Have, like, this, this stuff there. I this is maybe. beautiful. This is Monk art, dude. Okay, look at that Coco Divine, dude. Okay? Beautiful. Anyway, to bring it back full circle, do you know what I really hope? Um, you know what I really hope? happens when we get this release, whatever kind of release it is, okay? Not only do I hope we get a big boy trailer, because the last trailer was really sick, by the way, it was really great um, for the living story too, but you know what I always also like in addition to that? Can we please promote the other content that's coming with this, okay? You know, triple release is good, but how about we promote all three parts of it, right? Because last time they did, they did technically do that, by the way, okay? And by, they, they did a blurry screenshot on low graphics of the raid, like the starting, oh yeah, that's good, okay? Then they did a really cool trailer, and then the fractal, they just showed something that was barely recognizable as that fractal. Uh, uh, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, dude, fucking Ben has seen the release clip now, dude. That is quality shit, dude, okay? That's quality, okay? Now so the devs they, know if about they don't the have release. any. If they don't have any big stuff coming for PvP and Warpers World besides the, the besides the season for PvP, I guess they could still do like weekend uh, bonus weekends Experience. kind of things, right? Did, didn't, yeah, they, or, didn't they tease one like a week ago yeah. or something? Well, they teased a World vs. No World downstate one. weekend. Yeah, eight like, weeks ago. World World was up. And did well, that. No, uh, Raymond no, was saying, like, uh, last, last week it got data mined again or something. Data mined, yeah. Yeah, there we go. That, yeah, that was it. It got that to mind again last week. I think it's yeah. going to happen this next weekend because Raymond was saying on the last World vs. World stream they did on Thursday that there's going to be a special World vs. World stream Friday. And he kept sort of hinting Ooh. that it would be the downstay weekend. Ooh. So I think it, I think it's coming up this weekend. Or, yeah. well, either way, there's something happening in World vs. World. Yeah. So, happy, so why are we getting sure... that for structured PvP as well? Why is it literally just oh, World vs. World? Oh, poor you. No, I mean, I would like double to, XP as well. It has to be like, separate. Yeah, they they should do. Seasons. They, why? They, they, it's PvP. You have seasons, no, man. No, no, no. no. Uh, your game, mode, your game oh, mode is so rewarding. Like, I've been playing PvP. I've never been this rich <laughs> in my life before. Everything just flows It's so good, isn't it? I can make so much my Ascended gear. I can make my legendary gear from PvP. I can make everything. Just stop complaining. You got everything. Uh, happens. I'm just. No, no, I'm just. No, no, yeah, PvP is reason. perfect. It literally has no issues. <laughs> it's perfect because I never need to step in it. No, no. no. Yeah. Saying that PvP has a lot of issues is is so 
is, is so incorrect. P PvP is actually in a pretty good state, I'd say. Like, the only thing is like some fairly mild balance issues. I don't think the game's particularly imbalanced even, really. Uh, really but awesome. the actual game it's structures pretty... are really good. Like, you have ATs, you have a really good rank system. Like, there's, the, the game is, is doing fine. Like, maybe you could tweak the maps and add new maps, but other than that, like, PvP is in a really good state, I think, actually. Mm -hmm. um, the systems are very good. Uh, the, the systems are very, very good, actually. Uh, so I, I think it's a little... Mm, it's not it's not quite right to really criticize the PvP systems because I think they're actually really good. Uh, in addition to that, you have to have PvP weekends on a different weekend. You should have them rotating round because that's I mean obviously right like they should they should. I suppose rotate. so that people go into different okay. game modes yeah. to exploit them. And yeah. hell, I, I think they should extend to every game in Premiere. It should be we should be talking. There should be like an open world weekend. There should be honestly you could even divide it into maybe expansions, right? So you could have a Corteria where you get way more loot from doing Corteria um, world bosses or something. You could have that a Path of Thorns for Path of Fire. You could have I think a Fractal one would be really good. Have like a Fractal about, weekend, double relics or something, or, or double. What about PvP? Drops, hell. <laughs> what about PvP automated tournament week? Where they're, you get they're, extra special rewards for doing automated tournaments. They're doing that with a 2v2 tournament. So they are doing that. Are they really? Yep. Yeah. There's going to be a week of 2v2 tournaments culminating in a mega 2v2 tournament. Really? So that, that is happening. They, they have the uh, framework for this to happen. Uh, and they are looking to do that, and w w there will be probably be PvP bonus weekends, but and there should be a raid one as well. Like they should, ha I think this is something that really worked out very well for Guild Wars One, right? Like Guild, Guild Wars One had these bonus weekends. I think having this for every game in Guild Wars Two would be really awesome. And you know what? Uh, I think they're actually looking to do that, which is really, which is really good. I am impressed. Okay, I really. I really like this suggestion in chat. PvP with disabled chat beacon to welcome new players. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good idea. Uh, how does he get a jawline? Are you talking about jaw? What are you talking about? That's that's Tittle. He's uh, he's one of my moderators. Ignore him. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. there's a lot of things they could do to. They could, there's a lot of things they could do to welcome these new players, and that's great. And they have the uh, capability of implementing all of them. And I think they will do some of them, at least. Do you think there's anything more that they could do to actually, like, welcome players? Like, based on what they've already done, could they build on what they've already done? Like, yeah. in another, like one more initiative or something? Because, obviously, they've already done discounts. They've done, like, a meet and greet with like you know the community managers the you know employees could they do anything else do you like honestly do you think they could hey uh ja, you're getting shouted out in chat by kevin <laughs> wait what um well okay could they do anything else to welcome players let me think um i guess the only thing they could really do is figure out some way to get players into guilds appropriate for the game mode they're interested in right so for example if you want to get into world versus world i think i think getting into a world versus world guild is really important right or, yeah. or at least the community right not necessarily a guild but the Discord, well there's community right? guilds well yeah there, there are there are community guilds right but, the, but you don't necessarily have to be in them you could no, be no. in the discord right or in the team speak uh for raids they uh, you know trying to get players to join stuff like crossroads in right to get into these community guilds that are really great crossroads great little uh, great little great massive community actually of teaching um teaching people uh, to, to raid right when it comes to pvp it's a little trickier because there aren't really pvp yeah. community guilds well there's a right. there is a discord on an a um but it's not mm, i mean new player, yeah. it's i would say it's not necessarily friendly for new players and it's also not like just certainly now aimed at there's a lot of people that aren't playing pvp there anymore um i, I got an idea for that that's it's also that's not really public but yeah sorry go ahead. i got an idea for that that's not tied to our internet it's it's just about copying something that is being done in other games like, uh, at some point I started playing more Overwatch, and uh, on the Overwatch Reddit Discord, they have a split for different skill levels so that you can find players to play with. It's like, for example, ranked uh, 2k rating to 2.5k rating or something, because the rating matters less over there. Like, it's, it's more than for us. So it'd be like, for example, uh, rated uh, like 1.4k to 1.5k or something, so that you can find players to play with. You just write in that channel, hey, I'm looking for someone to play with, someone answers. It needs, it needs of course, to be a big Discord. So like the Reddit Discord for Gears 2 could be a place like that, to have an, a, an inbuilt NFG in channels on the Reddit. Maybe better in game. Some... Better in game. 
It's always better in game to have mm, these options. Yeah, it is, yeah. Um, I was you, gonna you say, won't necessarily meet the people you would meet on a, re on a Discord in the game. And it's always nice to get on voice together. That's true, because it's an extra not everybody's on ga in game at the same time. So when there's something written on a board, you actually get to see it later. Um, one thing also I could think of, since they might be doing this triple release in a little bit of time, and it will encourage new players to maybe buy Path of Fire expansion because they'll need that to play the new content, uh, maybe at the same time, like, uh, like do a, say, a package deal, say that when you buy an expansion for the next week or so, or maybe two weeks, all of the story episodes mm. come with it. Yeah, I that'd be good. I believe that... If I recall correctly, when you check out, there is actually an option to include that when you purchase. I don't know the how game. expensive it is. No, it's only Living Living World Season Two. Two. Oh, okay. So yeah. So doing the, that. So you, if three you and four have to be purchased. Individually. Okay. All right. Okay. So yeah, if, if they did do that, I think that would be great. Or you know what though? What would be very interesting, as Chat said, what we were talking about a little earlier, they could integrate that into Twitch drops, right? So watching and mm -hmm. supporting the community gives you that free stuff in the game. And yeah, I, I don't know. I really. I think Twitch ups would be, would be pretty fucking good, dude. They, they need, that's the first thing I think you they need just to watch more viewers. Yeah, dude. All they're, I care they're, about they're is viewers. Obviously. The only reason I even play Guild Wars 2 is so I can get that fat Twitch money, okay? Dude, I hate this game. This game is trash, okay? <laughs> Come on. This game is worse than Blood. Oh, no. Can't say that. No, that, I can't say that with a straight face, okay? No. <laughs> No, nah, 100%. I think like the, the drops need to come in ASAP. Um, I think that should be the main initiative for the marketing team moving forward and development team. Uh, immediately after like having completed the new Raid Wing, the Fractal release, and the Living Living World, as soon as those three things are like completed and they've finished their projects, drops need to be the next thing because it will in turn pull people into Twitch and that then also gets to showcase the the raid release, the living world release, the fractal release, all of this new content actually has an audience that boosts it by default. And then more people naturally see the content like as yeah. the new stuff. So I think it really does coincide. In E3, they're having two business meetings. Maybe one of them is with Twitch and one of them's with steam. Who knows? Yeah, maybe. I think it could be something really simple, like mm. literally like an appearance steam item. So good. Minis, minis or something. I don't know. Something cool. Even minis would be enough. Yeah. Mini I mean, it's a start, right? Or an outfit. So, I'm honest, mm -hmm. they don't have to be go too Min crazy. The, the right? mini, you mini get your 50 codes. gems. Mini egg codes. Gems. There you go. Yeah. Like, just go for it. All Lamas. of them are worth like trash in the game anyway. Oh, yeah. So I, I would love some more llamas. Llamas, yeah. llamas, man. Yeah, llamas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just cool <laughs> stuff. Cool stuff you can get in the game, right? Favorite. It's nice. Plus, the other, really, the other really cool thing you can do with that is you can give away like stuff that isn't necessarily available anymore. So, like outfits that might not be in the gem store anymore. So, you're not just releasing the outfit, you're still giving away like codes for it if that's possible. Which I assume it is, but what Pian said is a uh, is a pretty good idea, actually. <laughs> if you level from one to eighty, or complete the PR story in the space of a week. Yeah, man. Hey, uh, James. Yeah, man. <laughs> and, uh, I play on yeah. all of my alt accounts. I play on all of them. That that you know that would I feel, be yeah that would be that would be I feel cool. like that's like it might against be much. the Guild Wars two yeah, mantra though. That, I think that's against the ANET mantra. Yeah. You gotta yeah. know yeah. like this game if you want those rewards. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, obviously, that's not asking that much. I mean, you, you can beat the story pretty quickly, but I, I'm not. Sure in a day. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. Really, want to advocate rushing through yeah. the content as such. I, I, and personally, yeah. I think um, the game actually is enjoyed at its best uh, taking your time and, and enjoying mm -hmm. the journey, right? You know, exploring yeah. the maps as you go uh, and, yeah. and just really kind of uh, taking pleasure in, in the journey, you know? And I think maybe that's not exactly the kind of promotion a raid net is looking, uh, looking so to do. So why not just add yeah, some no. gems to the end of uh, getting to, when you get to level 80, one of the rewards is some gems. And, or when you get- Where do you have gems as for achievement, achievement points? points? Yeah, we have that. If you get to that's five, true. 10, 15, 20. Uh, yeah, but I mean, it does, itself. it kind of does take a while to get that, like. Yeah, yeah exactly. I mean, and this is a nice little taste, it's, it's, gives you a little taste of the gem like store. like 400 yeah. gems every 5,000 points or something, that's yeah. not really yeah. anything at all. I mean, that's not, well, I, I, I wouldn't really say this for a well, I'm not saying we need gem rewards in game, by the way, I'm just uh, saying that I wouldn't really yeah, consider yeah, those, like, a I mean, well, Let's thing. be real, like, the, the truth, the truth is, um, when it when it comes to gem rewards, is that you already have gem rewards? It's called gold, right? Um, so, yeah. so th th there's no real distinction between the two of those, really. In in my opinion, like anything that gives you gold, in effect, gives you gems as well, because you can just buy stuff with the gem store. So, and obviously, ge getting gems, it's kind of like, oh, I'm getting real money, right? But uh, at the end of the day, it is kind of the same as just getting a pretty large um, gold reward, right? So. Yeah. 
I mean, then again, they already give away gems through the partners, so. This is yeah, true. but then that's that's pretty isolated, I would say. Oh, do you? I mean, do you mean to us or like the the gems that we give away as partners? The gems that we give away as partners. That's like if you take into account the number of partners that there is, it's quite a bit of gems per month. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. That's true. That's like, true. They're giving it away through partners. It's also it's also a way that they see how they do like the giveaways. It's like they they help the partners and the partners create content and people are going to watch the content and then they're going to get the gems. Like everything falls together in a great scheme of like giving and then people give again. Mm -hmm. First you get the gems, then you get the, I don't know what I, I was going to do a Scarface thing, but I've... <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean like in terms of like what we actually do get ourselves and what that we give away, it's like, I don't think, Actually, that is anywhere near the same level as it would be to actually unload that kind of gem count onto the whole population. Because obviously, you know, like 200 gems to the, literally everybody that plays the game or whatever is a substantial That's, amount no, that of is money. A lot. That's a yeah. hell of a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> um, that, that has the potential to crash the gem market, completely mm -hmm. change the, the value of gold. Mm. Sorry, and what? Yada, yada, yada. So, what? What Roy is, just did, did you just like fade yeah. out? Like you're either, yeah. right? Yeah, he just woke up right now. Like no, just sorry, go back sorry. to sleep. We don't need you. Just go back to sleep. Roy okay. is optional. Hi, Roy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually really tired, but I know I I was answering something on Discord. What were you saying? Could crash the market? I was saying well, yeah, that, like you, we, sorry. You, you you do it. You do it. You uh, well, you're the one who said it. anyway. <laughs> if you if you give gems at level eighty for everybody, oh, then yeah, it's yeah. gonna crash the gem market. Gem to gold ratio. Well, how about then um, doing it the, the way they went about it with the birthday present dies? What about some account bound stuff you can pick? Mm -hmm. Also, That'd Lolo, you're cute. There we go. Lolo says, Teapot, tell me I'm cute. There you go. You're, oh, wait, you're a weeaboo. Actually, no, cancel that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh -huh. um, I wonder what's going to be. Uh, it's coming up soon, isn't it? Six year anniversary almost. Yeah. Ah. Hmm. It's gonna be good. I'm, I, I hope they give, th dude. I hope they give three birthday boosters. Yeah, dude. I, you know, I recently, guys. I'm just gonna expose myself. I, uh, I bought more. I bought more character slots, not because I want more characters, but just because I want to farm more birthday boosters on them. Okay, I'm thinking long term, guys. Okay, I'm thinking long term. I want those boosters every year, guys. You know, if you get like 60 accounts, you can have permanent birthday booster. Okay, because obviously you, you end up getting something like two or three every year per account, dude. Okay, so you just keep farming those boosters. Boom, 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 boom. I'd love it if, oh, but competitive GVG mode. Woo! Well, hold on uh, now, P.I. Well, oh, that's this, what people right? want, P.I. <laughs> hold people, down. You can't okay. say that word here. Right, okay, to, right. To, be, to, be, to be brutally Whoa. savage, that, that might not happen, P.I. People have been asking for that might since, not happen? since day one. Hey, wow. Yes. <laughs> My mind is blown, dude. We should have been talking about GVG this whole time. Hold well, on a second, Roy, though. Developers right now. <laughs> Peon hasn't asked for it yet. That's the difference. No, you're well, right. They... You're right. Yeah. Fuck That's me. True. Fuck every other GVG <laughs> player. Fuck every other guild who's ever played this game. Every other commander. Yeah. Ban Peon, guys. He said the G word. Okay, that is not allowed in this chat. Okay. Yeah. Well, the G well, Peon save the GVG scene. I'll suck his dick. Like. Wait. Let's... You would do that anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he doesn't need to know that. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Isn't that coming with the World of Show yeah. update? No. Uh, we we uh, might see something like that with alliances. Think I think there is a hope. There is a hope there for is. this sort of thing with alliances, right? With maybe uh. guild hall reworks. I think there is something they're looking into to trying to fix the guild hall because that's where, well, that's where kind of the only way to organize some of these GVG events with you know 15 v 15 uh, or you know 20 v 20 whatever. It, that is where it can happen currently uh, with the. You know, with the guild hall uh, but there are some problems there right there are some problems with the guild hall that we have discussed a little earlier basically it, it's balanced right it has pve balance obviously not great there's also instancing issues which are quite annoying uh as well and by the way i just want to say the gvg scene is not dead i mean no, it's a meme no, it's it still happens to a lot of people goes, hey, but like there is there is definitely a gvg going on it's just not supported at all um, it's not a competitive mode, you know, and there's no, there's no support for, I mean, technically yeah, it's not a competitive it's still, mode. It's not a real, it. and Roy but it is, it is, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's always been community driven and community run and it yeah. still is a thing, but. Yeah, I feel yeah. like within the last few months, like November or something, they, there was a post somewhere on the forum saying GVG is being rethought uh, about. They, uh, I, I don't know, I don't, I, 
sort of have an inkling of what you're talking about, but I'm not sure if I would interpret it the same way. But Okay, all right. Like, it's I, not I, off the I'm table, not I don't sure. think. I'm, some some I, form I, of it. I mean, I don't think so. I mean, look, it wouldn't be hard to support it at all. I just don't think it's ever going to happen. But mm. I mean, there could be things they do that like aren't fully supportive of it that would help. But which maybe mm. who knows? I, I don't know. If I remember but correctly, I'd be I think. Surprised if they ever if really I remember correctly, it. I think the idea was GVG might be in the game at some point. B- besides the world versus world overhaul, that's going to be completely around guilds. So besides that, GVG might come as a game mode for PvP. Yeah, that's not gonna. It it's will, not gonna be good. They, it, I I already know. I've well, okay. Uh, it's not gonna. It's not gonna be good. I don't think. <laughs> it could be good. Uh, it could be. Okay, what about this though, Roy? Okay, what, what if there was a special map for GVG, and they put back in stuff like Minstrel okay. Amulet? Okay, so the there's besides the the map the map aside, right? Okay, Only the map the aside map, right? because the guild hall honestly like it's a bit small, but the map isn't the biggest issue. It's the it's the facts of PV instance, which great, all right. The PVP instancing would fix that, although PVP and Worldless World still have differences. Um, and the other thing is that you can't um, if let's say let's say the map or the arena, whatever they make for it, allows teams of fifteen. They, that means they have to also set it up so you can have three different parties because party structure is very very important for GVG. You can't just have fifteen people in the same group and then call that a a comp because that that, that wouldn't really work. Um, so they have to do that. Um, they have to obviously, as you said, you know, minstrel stats aren't in the game. I mean, it would be extremely hard to to play melee in 15s in in, in mm-hmm. a PVP instance. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of different things that I don't think that they would consider. I think um, that it won't be as you know it, GVG, because no, GVG no. is a construct that was created right. by the community in this yeah. game. I understand. Uh, I mean, it exists in Guild Wars One, but it's a completely different thing. But it's a completely, it's like completely created by the community, G- GVG as it is. So, so if they introduce a form of GVG in Guild Wars Two, it doesn't have to be identical to what it no. was created by the community. In fact, it, it'd be very weird if it was. I um, I'm not saying that if they made a, a map or some sort of queue or whatever for a GVG type game mode in PvP, it would be bad. I'm just saying it would. I don't think it would be very. It wouldn't be the same. And I also don't think it would be what a lot of the current GVG players want. So mm. it might attract a new population, but I don't think it would get a lot of the current population. So, um, so and what, that what might be a good thing. Impossible. Might be a bad thing. What? What do you think is actually like unachievable with the? For example, you said the three group thing. Why right. do you think that that is unachievable? Like uh, in terms of like, I think uh, okay, okay. So you, you were discussing the fact that you would need three groups to go into a GVG, right? You'd have to have just like make a, a squad with three subs. Yeah, so that's yeah, that's exactly what I mean. Like you could make a squad. You could like you dictate who you want. No, no the but that's something they can VAP. enable. They enable that because that, it's GVGs. They have mm. this unique interface where people like they queue in. I, they, they somebody I, moves the groups around. Someone's a captain. They move the groups around the way they want them to be. Then you queue in with that set set up like UI if they whatever. Do that, great, but I don't see it happening. Who knows? Who knows? I can't say what they will do, what they won't do, but I just don't see that happening. It's um, still something that I think could happen. I still yeah. think it, it could definitely be something on the cards. There's no reason can, to write it off. You can make squads in Heart of the Mist. You can't have a squad in an actual PvP game, uh, which is what it could have its own little arena. Like, no, I'm no, I'm not mentioning the guy in chat. Have... I'm not, not talking about what you're saying. No. I mean, but, they yeah. don't even make use of like Edge of the Mist. Why don't they just put every for G- everybody for GBG up there, but then a portal or something? Also, I mean, again, like, I don't, I don't really see the point. Of doing this in in it, like I'm not saying like this would necessarily be a bad thing again, but it it's like I mean like I just said it could be it's probably going to be something different than what we currently have, yes. right? Why not yeah. just support that? I mean, what is the point of trying to make a new style? I mean, I, maybe I've just missed it, but I haven't seen a ton of people saying, "Hey, I really want a 15 v 15 map in PvP," but. I, I suppose. Yeah, but if it's titled Guild Wars, then I think there'll be a lot of yeah. people that are behind no, no, it. No, like, I, if you label it fifteen fifteen, it's random fifteen players. That's 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 just battlegrounds no, on fucking no, World of Warcraft. I, 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 what I, you want is. I, I, so sorry, I, I was just gonna say, I, f- I feel like we're being a little. I feel like we're being a little cynical here. I think they will try and cater to the community, man. I don't think they're gonna just try and do their sure. own, do, do their own thing exactly. Uh, I, I think they will try and implement. And something if they do, that's everyone. great. That's and, awesome. And look, you know even if great? they don't. Even if they don't, no matter what it is, I'll still and try. Sorry, Joel. Right? Okay, sorry. I just uh, no. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I didn't. I didn't mean to interrupt anyone. But yeah, no matter what they do, right? And no matter what it is, like I tried Stronghold when it came in. No matter what it is, I will try it and I will put effort into it and I'll maybe even like make some sort of tournament for it. But I'm just saying right now, 
I'd be surprised if it's really great. Maybe it will be, and I'm just wrong. Who knows? What if GVG, new map about one third the size of a World vs. World map, three teams, wait, maybe hold two on. teams. No, you, don't need, you, don't need a, you don't need to be one third the size of wait, a World vs. World map. Wait for it. You get mounts. No, stop. <laughs> and, and with 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 regards to kind of the ranked the ranked system, I, I think I mean I don't know. I, I think having GVG ranked leaderboard I think is really hard. Right when when it comes to having fifteen people on each team, having a ladder of that is really difficult. Well, you can in my you can just do for guilds. You don't have to do for players. Yeah, you just put them under the um, guild tag. You and don't... actually, we're planning to do that on an A this summer. Yeah, but the thing, I mean, that's that's easy to do with, when it's kind of scheduled by the players themselves. But when it would have to be scheduled by the company, I think that would be a little tricky. Well, what do you um, mean? Why would that be tricky? Because I mean, everyone, it, it would it wouldn't really do anything. Like I mean, right now the way everyone has to play, everyone coordinates with each other, right? Okay, but if if you have a structure in the game. In some sense, it would have to be coordinated through ArenaNet, right? Right. Okay, and I think I think it doesn't work as well when you're dealing with that many players if everyone has to go to a strict schedule. For, for example, if you, if you look at the way ATs are, right? Right, I think no, I, I should... Get, I getting, getting five people for ATs, it, that's that's not bad, right? But when it's 15, then it's kind of... Mm -hmm. this is And trust me, trying to get 10 fucking people to come to a bloody static raid clip is fucking yeah. impossible. Well, the one right? thing I'll say, though, is most guilds raid around the same time. You know what I mean? It wouldn't be very hard to institute one of these things at, like, a raid... Like, everyone knows... Like, all EU guilds essentially raid around 7 p.m. UK. Some of them raid an hour earlier, some of them raid an hour later. But they usually raid for a couple hours, right? Most NA guilds, uh, NA time anyways, they raid 6 p.m. PST or 9 p.m. EST. And then Oceanic guilds, I don't even know what time zone they raid in, because Oceanic. But it's... I mean, they're all fairly similar raid schedules. You know, obviously different days... So, you know, you'd have to do it once a day or whatever. But I don't I don't think it'd be possible. I, I understand what you're saying, though. Like, it definitely could be difficult. Um, and it would certainly be easier for the guilds that are already doing it, already raiding, you know, on a specific schedule. Um, and it might not be consistent. You might Because obviously guilds now don't GVG every single day. Um, but maybe if there was a system in place, they would. You know, it's there's a lot of uh, sort ifs. of... Yeah, yeah ifs. Um, and like I said, again, mm. honestly, if, if ArenaNet is really, like, dead set on making this, like, Arena or whatever, like, great, go for it. Well, put your hearts I, into it. Maybe it'll be great. Maybe I I'm wrong, and if I am, I would be like I'm, I'll be happy to be wrong, because maybe it's going to be awesome for GVG. I really I, couldn't tell. I, you, and people was talking about like rank specific armor sets. They kind of is that that you get um you get special skins for winning uh, automated tournaments and also kind of winning a lot, but you can kind of get there by grinding as well, but not the ones from You can get the, them by grinding, yeah. yeah they're not them. locked. So they're not necessarily locked, but I mean, that sort of thing would be cool. But you do have a cosmetic for winning the ATs, right? You have... Um, yeah, you yeah, have yeah. A little that, that's round, yeah. The monkey um, AT, yeah. <clears throat> but also, with, with regards to the, the GVG thing, I, I just think that maybe um, don't run before we can walk. I, I would say it would be really good to actually have some kind of capacity to have proper GVG. I would probably think that the most pragmatic solution to this would definitely be reworking the guild hall and fixing the guild hall, making the arena bigger, and of course, World vs. World Birth, and fixing the instancing issues. That is the direction I would think is probably where ArenaNet will well, go, and probably the most pragmatic the way to deal with it, right? The most important thing, and this actually would be fixed with a, um, a PvP map, and this is why I was, I was excited about it for a while. Um, the most important thing to getting people interested in GVG that aren't already in it is having some sort of spectating mode. Um, it, like, you, can, you can make the GVGs in Guildhall, and like, the players might hate it, but if you don't have an, an instancing... Uh, <laughs> if you don't have, an, if you don't have a spectating idea. mode... Um, then there's not really a way because at the moment you have someone like outside of the arena looking in, and doesn't uh, doesn't a spectating mode make it really easy for people to scout out things in World vs. World and tell their server? Well, but that would be outside of GVG. That's not really. I'm saying oh, like in guild, yeah. in guild hall, if there was a spectator mode, also. Mm. Zach, yeah. uh, I, woke, I woke up, went to Reddit, and I got instantly triggered by Roy asking for 15v15 GVG content. Nice. Well, I, I, don't think, I don't think I asked for it, actually. Well, I think we were just discussing it. I, you didn't ask for it, he demanded it. I know, oh, oh, yeah. yeah right. I mean, when I, it comes to spectating I, GVG, all right, I mean, I, I mean I'm going to have to kind of, <clears> I'm going to have to slam GVG a little bit here, okay? But I'm yeah. sorry, oh, I, 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 I'm sorry, man. Like, 15v15, like, with the way the game is such a clown fiesta, I mean, the, the amount of effects when you have 15 people fighting each other is, a, is actually insane. 
insane, right? So yeah. I think mm -hmm. even it, unlocking but, the camera with a hundred percent, yeah, that is great. That that should would be an awesome thing to have in the guild hall, right? However, right, it's still gonna make it very difficult for anyone who doesn't know what's going on to see what's going on. Honestly, this is a, uh, obviously a, a Roy, a, a Roy and Jor and uh, Jebra and stuff in chat will be very familiar with this problem. Even PvP, right, yeah. is is oh, yeah. difficult for new players to to understand what's going on because of the way Guild Wars Two is. Not only do you have this three point map, so there's a lot going on, and also the object as well, like Skyhammer and stuff like that. Although you know stuff like that is a little bit easy to understand, right? There's some. It, it's a complicated game mode, but on top of that, right, you see like there's a mega like scourge meme going all over the place right uh there, there's you know there's mesmer effects going crazy there's like uh, hol oh fucking holosmith dude like holosmith like smashing the ground there's particle effects all over the place right I, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it already three, gets three intense, v three right? yeah three v three fights are already getting a little too intense uh so, with all the fields and stuff imagine five times that yeah you're you're mm -hmm. absolutely right um but like i just well i mean and i i don't think you were saying this um but definitely it would make it easier if you could at least spectate, like from a player's yeah, point of view. Yeah. Um, like, because so I've casted PvP and GVG, obviously, right? And right now, when you cast GVG, at least during you know the, the actual round, mostly what you say is, "Oh, they have two down states. Oh, they have three down states. Oh, these guys dropped a bubble," because you know you can obviously see a bubble, and that's essentially like all you can really say. And you can analyze, you know, different pushes, you know, build, you know, all this stuff in between rounds. But like during PvP, you can actually see like a specific skill usage on a player. Um, you can see, you know, of course, they're they're obviously going to be engaging in one v ones or two v twos more than, of course, than you would in a GVG. So it's yeah. different. But like, yeah. there's been there's been other times, um, like it, it, like certain tournaments and stuff, or just certain GVGs. Like, well, ha like if I'm casting it and I'm streaming it, then I'll go and stream like a player's point of view who's inside a GV, and it's so much better because you can actually see what they're doing. You can see the movement a lot easier from one guild's perspective. And it's again, it's absolutely messy with fifteen players. A hundred percent. Like I, I won't, I won't ever disagree with that. It's very, very messy. But it, it would be a lot nicer if you to just to get people into GVG. I think, and at least watching it, if you had I some think, way to speculate. Do you not think it players. could happen on a five v five level? What do you mean? GVG? Giving in as a guild group and having your your guild listed as a five man team. I the mean, death match group? yeah, five v five death match. Uh, 5v5 oh. deathmatch. I mean, obviously, it, you know, you might have the likes of fucking rank 55, take the top, whatever. Like, they're obviously, it, it might then well, give more incentive. Well, because people can't queue, well, I guess they can queue in unranked, but they can't queue in ranked, right? So they don't see it as worthwhile. How's if you can. Than if you, okay, well, that isn't. It is an AT. <laughs> no, no, yeah, he, yeah. no, no, he, no, 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 no. He, he wants, he wants them um, like, uh, okay, flat terrain, five players here, five players there, smash. Right? I mean, yeah, yeah, but I I'm guess not saying that's conquest. Not, that's very different, though. But, but it's not. Like, it's still no, main. Technically, technically, sure, it's five players trying to kill five players, and I guess you could say that's a GVG. But it's not. That's not really gonna. Most guilds run. First of all, first of all, when you have five players as opposed to fifteen players, there's a lot less you can do with builds. So a huge part of why GVG was so attractive to so many people is the theory crafting that goes into it. Theory crafting the specific builds, and obviously you can't do that as well in PvP, so that's a drawback. Mm -hmm. um, theory crafting the comps, so how many classes you run, where those classes go, which classes work better with each other in a party. If you only have one party of that, the theory crafting goes out the window, essentially. Uh, no, I think five um, dead eyes could work. If I, sure. I mean, that, I'm not, <laughs> do not think I'm that not like saying, it kind. Of, if it's no. if it's literally a five v five that's going on on a flat map, like it kind of opens up spike compositions and things like that. Because I feel like if yeah, there's it's, if it's, it's less around the three points on the map, you can queue up like I don't know, like you say, even if you wanted to do five dead eyes, all of you go into stealth simultaneously. You know that your team, the enemy team, doesn't have any like reveal or something, and then you just literally snipe out a target. Uh, you know, you're spamming death judgment on them. They literally go from a hundred down state and they're they're dead already because they're hit. They're being hit for like twenty. 25k a hit or some shit full berserk it, it allows cheese but it's also gvg it's, it's an opportunity I, I don't know here's what, it, here's what it comes down to gvg sort of originated and came out of world versus world right and so there in world versus world you have a commander they're leading x amount of people and in a gvg you have a commander they're leading 14 or 19 other people whatever if you're doing 15s or 20s in a 5v5 you're not going to have one per you might have one person sort of shout calling stuff but it's not it's not derivative from world versus world it's pvp that a 5v5 would be coming from, like, it would be a lot more focused like PvP is. GVG would be more focused like World vs. World is. So you're not going to have 
as many World vs. World or GVG players interested in a 5v5 team deathmatch. I'm not saying you couldn't have it like that. If, if, or if Arena wanted to add that, like, I'm not saying, no, you can't do that because of GVG. Mm. I just don't think they're really connected. I don't really think mm. one is similar to the other. I think you're right. I think I think if we're talking about GVG, we have to at least set some baselines, like the number of people in the match. Uh, uh, and but if if the number of people is the baseline, uh, let's say fifteen million people, it would ten on ten be okay? No way. Eh? This has to be fifteen on fifteen. Sorry, for GVG, it has to be 15. No, you, people used to do 20s. People used to do 25. Okay, well, let's say 15 on 15. For the most part, it's 15s now, yeah. So, so, but then to combat the, the visual effect noise, would they have to introduce new um, mechanics, new new thing, new objectives for the teams to do to split them up and have a more interesting fight here and there? But again, that sort of... I, 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 it just takes away from what yeah, G, I mean, what here, GVG in this game is. Here, I would totally get on board with Roy. Here, one of the, one of the best things about World vs. World for me is is definitely the, the 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 how much potential and how much you can actually do with it. So I, I would say 15s is probably the best. I think tw I don't like 20s. Never have. I think it's a. I, I yeah. think even in normal, it turns especially with like Scourge and Warrior, it just turns into a shit fest. I think it's. It's again, here's, ooh, here's the thing. But 15, you, I think, is the best way to go about it. Like, maybe G you could get away with 10. I don't know. 10, maybe. People have tried 10s before, and obviously we haven't had a map specifically for it. Um, I, I, I know you're not talking about PvP, but, like, people have tried 10s in a PvP map before. It just it didn't really go well. I mean, that could be for, for other reasons. Um, I mean, again, a ten, 10s can work. There's a couple other reasons, or, like, there's a big reason as well that you don't want to drop down to that low numbers, and that would, right off the bat, it's just that most guilds don't run under 20 people. So if you have to sit out half your guild, it's just like, mm. it's it's annoying. You know what I mean? Um, mm -hmm. You just do two matches. <laughs> Everyone but, plays. No, it's, nah, it's, nah, 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 like, nah. it's just, it's just, it's just. Again, I'm not saying that all of this stuff would be bad, but it just, it's just drawing away and moving away from what GVG currently is and what the people who are GVG want to do. It's like yeah. we have, you know, we have, we have something that we like doing. Why wouldn't we just keep doing that? You know, why yeah, would we yeah, try yeah. and do other stuff? Why? Like, I don't, I don't. I already play PvP. I don't want to go do a 5v5 team deathmatch instead of GVGing. I want a GVG. You know, it's, enough, it's, yeah. that's, you know. Yeah. I, again, it you just want a place fun. to do it. I'm not saying I'd never do it because, like, a 5v5 team deathmatch could be fun. I mean, I used to do that in Courtyard, right? But, like, mm. I just, it's, I want a GVG too. Oh. I don't, I don't want to yeah. do nothing else. So, I think, I think the, the, I think, I think it's time to kind of, to, to cut, you know, cut this off, cut yeah. this off. Cause I mean, yeah. this is, yeah. <laughs> this is kind of, this is the GVG, the GVG debate is, 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 is it gets a little, a little, a little crazy, right? I think, to kind of sum it up, right, Guildhall yeah, getting fixed it. would be awesome, or Instance Obsidian Sanctum, I believe would be ideal, right, but that might be, we don't know, again, guys, like, it, 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 it sounds, oh, it's so easy, just give us an Instance map of no, the Obsidian I'm, Sanctum. I'm sure it's not easy at but, all. But th these are things that are not, a, 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 well, not trivial at all, uh, considering how, you know, how World versus World works with all the matchup and stuff, like, this is not easy stuff, guys, to fix instantly, right, this is, this is not, um, this isn't easy, right, but, if that mm -hmm. could happen, I think that would be the ideal solution because it's a, a really good spot for it, right? It's uh, a much bigger area. And then if you could implement spectators into that would be really good. But I think um, that or the Guildhall topic, uh, the Guildhall solution would be really good, right? That would be really mm. good. There are certainly solutions out there. Don't know how yes. easy it would be to call them. But yeah, no, we, we certainly don't need to spend any more time on this than we already have. <laughs> yeah, I know. 40% of the stream. It, it, it is oh, a well, really, it's a really, in, it's a really interesting topic in my opinion. It's something that I would like to see because one of the, so the best oh. times I've had in World vs. World are, without question, playing with an organized group. Right, and that is, you know, even if you, even if you're, to it. even if you're playing in the in the Borderlands, right? Like when you've got you, you go with your girl with like twenty twenty five. Like to a certain extent, that is similar to the, the the GVG experience, right? You are playing with um an organized group, and you're all tryharding. You're trying to you're trying to figure out like what's the okay if we run these classes, like how do we get these synergies going on, right? That's a really massive appeal of um of World versus World for me, right? And I think it is for a lot of players as well. Um, just just how much you can do in that game mode. Uh, so I think that would be really, really awesome, you know. So I definitely, I am, I, I uh, this is something I would like to see, guys. Don't get me wrong and say that I'm just trying to shut this down. It's really not the case. It's it's the it's the it's the appeal of World versus World to me. Like the appeal of World versus World is not like you know like mindlessly mashing abilities in a 50 man group. No, it's it's like trying to Wait, be what? precise and efficient with the gameplay, right? I've been playing wrong. Yeah, <laughs> um, exactly. I, I, before before we move, I, I would just say if anyone ha is interested in GVG, you're more than welcome to come and ask me stuff about it, and I will go. I'll talk about it for hours. So yeah, feel free to yeah. feel free because yeah, we don't want to take up all of these lovely people's time. 
talking about the dead, the, yeah. the, the not, oh, the irrelevant. Did we have anything else planned? planned? No. Well, no. Roy, I think, <laughs> Roy, I think we've been asking pretty long, long, actually. Read, a bit, read the chat, Roy. Read it. Oh. Roka wrote something for you. He's trying to grab your attention there. Third time he's already trained. Roddy, what really if they fun. added an uh, event like GVG to World of World matchups, aka every Saturday, 7 p.m. at an open space, every faction will have to sign up a team of 15 players to fight each other, and winning team gets a lot of score for their server or something. I mean... Okay, but do we want to talk about that? Or? Well, I think the problem with that is how <laughs> I'll, I'll you let, I'll let, choose I'll let you decide. who signs up. Yeah, I can, we can get into is, it, but I don't want it. Yeah. If I want to move on, we can move on. I I'm just wanted to you on. to read it. I just wanted sure. you to read sure. it. I, 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 think yeah, the, was... I think that system, uh, that kind of game system is going to be an absolute nightmare to implement, honestly. Like an absolute like, hellish there's nightmare. Other, there's other issues, but yeah, let's, we can uh, just move on. I'll, yeah. I'll talk to you later, Rocco, if you want. Yeah. But... <laughs> I mean, the, 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 the other thing that I'd really like to see come back is World vs. World Seasons as well. Hopefully that, I mean... It, I, I don't know. Yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of people want seasons back. I, I, actually, um, I think. I mean, yeah, as, I, would, I would love that. Seeing as Ben P is here, like, is that actually on the table? Like, are you even? I mean, obviously, you know, if you if you're not allowed to say, if if you want us to leave you alone, sure. then we will, of course. But you know, yeah. I'm really interested actually. What you, how you, how, what, are, what arena is thinking with regards to seasons, right? And because one of the complaints, this is something we talked about. One of the complaints about. Um, world versus world is that everything kind of feels meaningless, right? Because it just all just disappears all the time, and capturing objectives doesn't really matter that much. World um, versus world needs goals. Yeah, and world I think that's world needs goals. That's the biggest thing right now. The overhaul coming to world versus world that's not, is no. need, is the best time to implement these. Oh goals. yes, sure, 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 sure. So, I and it. I think that that I think that's what's going to come with it. I think it has to come with it. I think like yeah. So either leaderboards for the guilds, leaderboards for alliances. Uh, and if not that, then uh, seasons, yeah. where and eventually rank your it'll Ooh. end up being leaderboards again and the, probably the seasons, rewards. But they just have to be done differently than last time. Yeah, it's half um, on off the table, guys. It's in so the store uncooked. What goals can I imagine for Rules World right off the bat? A lot of people probably don't know this, and honestly, I don't. I don't. I'm not the most experienced person talking about it. But in the beginning of World versus World, back when Guild Wars launched, they had uh, orbs, which was a, a, another mechanic. In World vs. World, that when you captured it, um, and you had to like go into the enemy, it was like at North Camp, I think, in Alpine Border. You had to go and capture it. It gave you more score, or, like it gave you buffs or something, um, and it encouraged. It was just an extra thing you had to do. It encouraged servers to two v one against the stronger server, which is I think good in World vs. World. You should mm -hmm. try and take out the stronger server, and it was just an extra thing to to fight over. It was an f extra objective. It was something, and it was just really, really fucking bugged, which is why they removed them. But it was a good idea. It, like, that sort of thing was a good idea. It was just that they were awfully implemented. <laughs> but it was a good idea. And, I mean, it's just that sort of thing. And, like, again, the seasons. The seasons gave servers goals because they wanted to win. Most servers wanted to win. You know, they, um, they, they, they go, you get the points, you win what's next. Well, winning the matchup, I mean, but different ways to win the matchup. Or, okay, and, right, okay, so seasons. Seasons gave you an objective to win because it put you at number one, right? Um, so you won Gold League or you won Silver League. And not. I'm not saying these were good rewards at all, but, you know, you, you got a statue in your citadel <laughs> of a Toilak and you had a, a one-time boost that you could use, which was a joke. But, you know, it's it was it was things to do. It was another reason to go into World vs. World. There were daily or weekly achievements you could get during the season. Um, mm -hmm. And, I mean... Well. The amount of organization that servers put into the seasons was insane. Mm. People had schedules of commanders. They filled in days. People people did 24-hour raids, and they were replaced by another 24-hour raid and another 24-hour raid and another tw just to win one week of an eight-week season. I mean, it was, it was crazy. And obviously people will say, oh, then they burnt out, right? And that was bad. But, I mean, you just make the season shorter or, you know, whatever. But, you know, you have to change how they do it. But, again, it's just it's something that World vs. World, the, the population came together for and really pushed hard to play. It was something that attracted players into it. It was good, in my opinion. Not necessarily yeah. the way they did it, but overall it was a good thing. And if they brought stuff like that back, it would be great. Yeah. 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 I completely agree. I, I think, um, you know, it's, it, it's a good way to go. It's a very I, good way to go, in my opinion. So, but that's it, though. Um, that's giving it, though, giving some weight to it would be really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, Boots. We, exactly. we need we need stuff like that back, either, either uh, uh, rewards or the seasons to bring everything back. But... The overhaul has to come first because right now the way the worlds are linked, there's no, there's like, how are you going to do seasons that way? You have to set, you can't do linked world seasons, can you? What, well, they're, 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 they're even calling them seasons. You for eight weeks, you're you're as an alliance, you know, and then mm. and then the 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 servers or the worlds restructure or whatever. 
No, I just mean as it is now. Oh, as it is now? I mean, you do it. You there's a two. Month, there's a two. Yeah, of course you can. There's a two month period for uh, for relinking. I mean, I mean, I I wouldn't know. By the way, I said this before. I would not implement seasons right now. No, there's no, no ha- way I would ever. Have implement to wait for right alliances. Now. You have to not wait for alliances. Not with the current alliances. population. Yeah. Yeah. Not with the yeah. current world structure. The alliances, the alliances, I think are going to be a good thing in terms of restructuring worlds. That's like you said, boots. When you start introducing those new things, um, and the other thing to note as well, uh, it's it's a, a lot up to the community to when they when they implement alliances to make world versus world better because the community honestly is is gonna have to organize itself and not just bandwagon to one server, not just stack one server, not ruin world versus world like we have with this, you know, uh, population structure. Mm-hmm. Um, do you not think that there will be a lull in population during the downtime? Yeah, I mean there might be a little bit, but. I would rather I would I rather okay, try hard in world, world for eight yeah. weeks straight, take a week off, and then go back. Yeah, in my opinion, yeah. I don't I don't see that as a problem. Like having eight really good quality weeks, and well, then I, maybe yeah. a few kind of chill weeks where not much is going on. Do it, do I don't think that's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Guys. hey guys, hey yeah. guys, uh, Red Borderland is the desert slash jungle Borderland. That's the last two expansions. Green. Uh, uh, we have the normal hills Borderland that can be green. If Cantha comes in the next expansion, since we have an underwater update, you think we're going to have a slightly more blue borderland at some point? Stop. Fuck that <laughs> shit. First of all, first of all, Alpine is Alpine is supposed to be snowy, not green. But no, I if please do not do not implement an underwater map. I don't want any snow. underwater no, content. No, 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 no. I don't want anything. No, 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 no. Like underwater it's, content is just it's no, worse no. even at the like we're not going when you have there. to do it's it bad. like two minutes. We're, like, we're, we're not going there. And now that. Bloody boys. No. <laughs> when, <laughs> right. Okay. That being Fish said, tank I actually, oh, okay. I think it'd be hilarious to do an underwater weekend. Like, oh, God. I, that would no, be awesome. No, you know, no, I, no. I, I've got a way. I've got a way to make underwater fun, all right? The Fuck only way no. you make it fun is by making it zero, like... Uh, fucking have gravity, so you have to fight on the floor of it. So it's literally like normal, but you're underwater. That's how you make underwater fun. That's, you're just yeah, surrounded by water. That's yeah, all. Just don't play World of this World. Um, <laughs> what I will say is if is if they uh, if they implement pirate ships, if you can like in Arcade, what? Then then is okay, underwater. Then, then you can have actual pirate yeah, ship, man. Get yeah, ready for some real have, pirate. We can have pirate ship fights. Yeah, yes, okay. pirate ship back. Big big battle. Yeah, bringing exactly. that pirate ship. Joey A M P will reform in an instant. But uh, oh. uh, Woo! underwater okay. weekends, though, do you think they'd be able to do that underwater weekend where they no. just take the no. runes away again and leave the lake I as mean, it used to be? I, no, I, I'd be right. surprised. Guys, but, okay. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, now we're, now we're getting out of here. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, talk, we're talking about underwater world versus world, my friends. It is time we're to end drifted. this. Okay. Yeah, we have drifted. It, it, yeah, we, we, we have drifted like, off the face of the bloody earth, dude, okay? It is time. <laughs> it's my job. Yeah, we've gone into another different fractal now, guys. Like, it is time to stop, guys, okay? So, I don't know where I wow, am anymore. Guys, it has been one hell of a tea time, okay? Yeah. It, it really is a full potential tea time. So, it's time, guys, for everyone's favorite favorite part of the show where we shill really fucking hard okay so let's see i didn't even know about this bit yeah <laughs> wait this is, you didn't you didn't come on exactly i thought it was just a random one like so i i i've watched a couple but I, i've never i haven't caught the very end like this is the only uh, reason once. i'm here <laughs> and then like I, once i came in and you were li- like it was literally teapot shilling and i was like okay well this is normal this is the end of every stream so i thought yeah. oh, i didn't th- i didn't realize everybody else got to shill that's cool man i'm ready yeah. right okay. oh my god let's go okay. are you, seeing as you are the new guy the new kid on the block it is oh don't make me go first it no. is what with the, pressure, the most impressive hair and jawline in all of the guild wars 2 community it is twitch.tv forward slash georges go Okay, guys. Hi, I am twitch.tv for slash Georges. Indeed, shout me out. Um, I do structure PvP. I do AT spectates and casting. I am terrible at PvE. Uh, you might see me raid with Teapot. Um, people don't know if I'm British or if I'm American. Uh, I constantly what? get asked. Yeah, seriously. What? People what? always what? ask me if I'm from American. EU or NA. Uh, I overheat a lot, therefore I have uh, an emote that has the overheat icon in it because I don't know how to play Hollowsmith, but somehow I'm in the top 100. Um, I recently made an FAQ video. There it is. Um, if you're a brand new player, go watch it. Um, you will learn a lot. It will teach you about break bars, teach you about masteries, teach you about everything you want to know if you're a brand new player. So that's me, I guess. That's right, me in a that nutshell. Was, that was full on shit. Yeah, yeah, that's wow. good. That's wow, good. yeah. The video, that's you good. So be sure to check out Jaw, guys. He's streaming all the time. It's going, he's going crazy. There's also videos. Boom. Follow him on Twitter as well. Follow everyone on Twitter. All right. 
Let's go over to the other side of the screen and start with everybody's favorite market manipulator. It is Sam Ajeste. Let's go. Okay, so I've been introduced as a market manipulator, but I seldom do market videos anymore. What I do mostly is uh, losing my money gambling, because that's pretty much the end game in Guild Wars 2, as you have seen with uh, that uh, good sale on the Black Lion Keys right now. Uh, what I do on uh, the rest of my time is I pretty much make some YouTube videos about uh, the state of the game and what I think is going to be good economy-wise. I stream PvE raids twice a week and uh, sometimes cooking shows because uh, IRL is uh, going to carry me to the next tier of Twitch streaming, definitely. So yeah, that's me. That's what I do. And uh, that's the way I have fun. My YouTube, YouTube is also Sam Majeste. Yeah, I'll, so everything uh, is Sam Majeste. Go go bot. Easy. The bot will link. It's linking everything, guys. You can also find links to various people below the stream as well. Okay, moving up one level, the second tier of the tower over on the left side, the tower of streamers. It is Roy. Roy, what's up? <laughs> um, yeah, go uh, boots, judges. Sam oh, shut course, up! Chill fought. yourself. Go, Chill uh, yourself. Follow, follow their streams. <laughs> sub to their streams. Uh, check out their YouTubes. Um, to new players, make sure you check out the Reddit. Make sure you check out the forums. Um, make sure you're looking at the wiki. And definitely check out other uh, content creators and streamers and stuff on Twitch. Um, you know, make sure you're asking questions and stuff if you're interested in the game. Welcome to all the new players and whatnot. I mean, it's, you know, we're happy to have you. Um, and yeah, hope you guys are enjoying the game. But yeah, definitely. Follow all the all the all the lovely people here because they put in a lot of effort, especially Teapot. We wouldn't be here without them. Uh, make yeah. sure you sub to Teapot, <coughs> Twitch Prime, and yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, and that, that's all you need to know. All right, and in the top left, the Tea Time stalwart who has been here since the very beginning. How times have changed. The maker of bad builds and sometimes accidental meta builds. It is <laughs> World of Enders. No, it's Boots underscore W O E. In fact, no, it's still World of Enders because that's where you find me on YouTube. Okay, right. <laughs> um, okay. Hit us with that. That instead. Yeah. Let's go. So YouTube World of Enders. Uh, but I mean, I would say uh, go find Roy. He's no. he's our boy. Nope. Go nope. find Roy. He nope. he's been streaming some uh, shoutcasting some uh, nope. tournaments from nope. PVP tournaments. He's fantastic at it. He's I'm really trash. good. Uh, and uh, he does World vs. World. I, I was in a group of World vs. World with him recently, and it was a lot of fun. And, uh, <laughs> and well, yeah, no, I make bad builds, and, uh, oh, and I am trying to make a new player guide. It's extremely long-winded right now, so I think I'm going to have to cut it down. But uh, that might be coming out in the next week or two. And hopefully all the new players haven't left by the time I put it out. So there we go. World of Avengers. All right. And then, finally, of course... Drum roll. The, the final and obviously the best. It's me. Okay, it's me, the best streamer ever. Um, okay, if you like Why the stream, did I shell for you? Yeah. <laughs> you can follow right now. Okay, you can follow the stream. That doesn't cost you any money, okay? You can also subscribe, okay? That does cost money. But Unless you're you Twitch Prime. Unless you're Twitch Prime, then it's free, boys. Let's go. Okay. All right. And you can follow me on Twitter as well. I stream every day, all content, all the time. No luck. Oh, Ben P with 100 bits. I mean, look at this. Who is, who is this guy? Who is this guy? Who, and, who says ArenaNet doesn't support yeah, you? ArenaNet. <laughs> I mean, just round of applause. But anyway. He literally carries. I, he actually carries. He's actually carrying every streamer, every game mode, every game. Mode, every game okay. Mm -hmm, this, mm -hmm. on, this is just crazy shit. Okay, anyway. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Follow the stream if you did. Follow all of these guys. Of course, I was joking when I sound the best, okay? Everyone here is equal. It's a round table, guys. If I could, I would arrange our cameras in a circle, but I'm way too fucking lazy to do that shit, okay? Um, it, that would be pretty cool, though. Maybe, ooh, that's a good idea, actually. Dude, I'm gonna fucking say, okay, no, I'm gonna do that. Okay, anyway, <laughs> follow the stream, subscribe. The you can see that. links to Twitter, all that stuff. Hey, thanks for Twitch Prime sub. Twitch Prime, go sub. Subscribe to everyone here. We've got quality content creators, guys. Delusion Elitists are the best streamers on all of Twitch. Be sure to check out all of them. You can find links below, guys. Let's post that shit again go go bot bots link in loads of crazy stuff guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys tomorrow and all these guys will too because they're all over the place as well you can there's loads of content all yep. over the place uh, man quick quick extra shill uh if you're watching a stream like you'll lose two stream and you want to buy the game or just download it free to play make sure you see if they have referral links um and i mean you're sure this is a shill whatever but like all all arena partners have referral links for either buying the game 
or playing it for free supports the stream. Indeed. It doesn't cost you anything extra, and you can use the thirty percent off code. Um, it's just a it's just a cool thing. So make sure you check out the referral links for uh, Unit Partners. Um, and yeah, there you go. But yeah. use yeah, use other people's, not mine. Wait, what? I suck. No, every, okay. equally do Use rise, like, yeah. come on, guys. guys that no. guy above oh, me there. Oh, please, yeah. you guys are amateurs. Guys, buy five accounts, one from each streamer. Let's go. Okay, 30% <laughs> off. Just, just do it like me. Just buy 15 yeah. accounts. Like, the more you have, yeah. the more money you get on the daily. Like, can't go so, wrong with that. We will All now, right. uh, yeah, so. Thank you Enough guys show. for watching, and uh, shill yeah, meters. we'll see you on the shill meter off the charts. That's what we like to yeah. see. Yeah, subscribe, follow to everyone here, watch me. all their content. Hey, thank you for coming on, Joe. Really appreciate that. Okay, that's Congrats, all from us, it. guys. And uh, yeah, fire. thanks for watching. We'll uh, yeah, we'll see you guys. Jeez. We'll see you guys later. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. Audience. Bye.